गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ टीम हिटकॉन एंड आई एम ए राजकोट आई टेक दिस प्रिविलेज टू वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस न्यू नॉर्मल हिटकॉन दैट इज दी फर्स्ट वर्चुअल हिटकॉन आई थिंक प्रोबेबली द फर्स्ट हेल्थ केयर टेक्नोलॉजी कॉन्फ्रेंस बी हेल्ड डिजिटली इन दिस करंट एरा past month there may be lot of many but i think in the current times this is the first day of working day and night in this current pandemic adverse situations and taking care of patients and i also would like to uh, wish on behalf of all of us the corona virus who are felt sick during this time and they are uh, undergoing treatment maybe at home or maybe in the hospital so we wish and pray for their speedy recovery and of course how can i forget the big b the mahanayak Who has got again? Well, uh, who himself has got infected with corona pandemic, and so we wish speedy recovery from him also. To have uh, Hitcon in Rajkot is giving me a bit of nostalgic feelings because Rajkot is my birthplace. So I got my roots attached to the Rajkot, and you give me. And you say that Rajkot is my home. Most of the time, it's like a very serious my home. My home is Rajkot. My retail is there, and my home current is there. Present, even Rajkot is my home. And my home is also Rajkot. so uh, it is a very good uh, nostalgic feeling to be in rajkot in front of the uh, the medical fraternity of rajkot being the uh, part of team hitcon we are a team of uh, four doctors uh, all family physicians and we have started this journey around 6 years back we keep on doing new things and our main aim and motto is to promote use of technology in healthcare and that's what we are doing so during this the uh, this half day uh, technology conference we will take you across the journey of various topics which we have curated very neatly and which will be definitely be helpful to the all of you and at the outset i would like to thank team rajkot for accepting our this invitation specially dr jay dilwani and dr rukesh bhai and of course how can i forget dr chetan lal seta who has been the quite instrumental in organizing this event so uh, uh, i welcome you all again this and i will request all of you that at the end of the session there will be a feedback form which will be shared in the comments in the youtube as well as on the facebook so do uh, fill up this uh, feedback form that which will give us the insight in the what really the medical fraternity things and what everybody is interested in learning so uh, with this few words i hand over the uh, proceedings to dr kupal dr kupal or yours and once again welcome on behalf of team hitcon and I am Rajkot. Thank you very much. Bye, come, Dr. Kupal, bye, please. Good morning, all of you. Thank you, Dr. Pragmesh sir, for such a nice introduction of all of us. So, I welcome all of you on behalf of I am Rajkot. Our uh, today's webinar is all we know is about Hitcon Health Tech Conference, and which is presented for the first time in Saurashtra. So, not taking much time, we'll begin. And so, for presidential address, I invite Dr. Jay Dirwani sir for to begin with the. Uh, over to Jay Dirwani, sir. Jay, unmute ho. Jay, unmute tap. Doctor Jay, sir. Thank you, thank you, Krupal. Thank you, Pragnesh Bai. Good morning, all respected seniors, dear colleagues, and our today's faculties. On behalf of IIM Rajkot. I, Dr. Jay Dirwani, extend a very warm welcome to all of you for today's our Hitcon conference. As we all know, we doctors are routinely so much engrossed in our routine practices that we hardly could devote any time to learn some technological advances happening in this world, and which in could, in fact, be so much helpful in our making our routine practices so easy. So, in other words, if I say. we are so much busy with learning biology that we don't have any time to learn physics and that's all disadvantage to all of us so today's iim rajkot has brought a battery of such faculties from across the country who have not only mastered the biology but have also mastered the physics and hence there is chance for all of us to convert our disadvantage into the full advantage with their help uh today is in session uh we we'll let us learn from these masters how to make the maximum or the optimum use of gadgets in our practice how to make our presence felt online and on social media how to grow our businesses using the digital platforms and how to make the powerful powerpoint presentations to make a different niche 
apart from many small small other things which i am sure should be very much helpful in our day to day practices so wishing you all a very happy learning and uh, over to krupal for the further proceedings thank you jay sir so moving ahead starting with our today's webinar our first eminent speaker is dr kashyap adeshna about how to make a good powerpoint presentation making ppt itself is a very challenging to many of us and over and over above it making it decorative and attractive to keep the audience eye on it is no less than an examination to us so to start with i'll just introduce kashyap sir in brief sir is a young and dynamic orthopedic surgeon from junagadh with special interest and expertise in complex trauma surgeries sir has been invited regularly at many state and national level conferences sir has been national faculty in basic as well as advanced ao courses for the orthopedic surgeons so i invite now dr kashyap sir to begin with over to you kashyap sir thank you very much krupal bhai for a nice uh, uh, introduction so i'll share my screen first so there was some change in uh, order uh, because dr devas is is having some you know technical trouble so we'll get on so there is so i'll be speaking on how to make a good powerpoint presentation first of all i would like to thank uh, iim rajkot as well as hitcon organizing committee for uh, inviting me for the, uh, giving me this presentation so i'll i'll you know uh, this presentation of mine covering not the technical aspect but the principal aspect of uh, making a powerpoint presentation because a technical aspect becomes a workshop and which uh, you know it can be in a half a day or so so we'll be you know overviewing what are the principles which we need to take care while we are doing powerpoint presentation so that's a very nice saying by uh, albert einstein if you can't explain it say you don't understand it well enough you so whenever whenever we uh, present our presentation it is a prime duty to be very simple palatable to the audience which we are doing it rather than very complex one. so my flow of talk during this presentation will be covering you know three aspect before presentation during presentation and after presentation there are something which you need to check before presentation audience venue and some other preparation of the talk the during presentation what you have to do it will be uh, detailing about the content presentation and the delivery then after also what you have to do that all as that also i will cover in short detail so first of all we are invited to give a talk we need to understand the audience so what are the what is the type of presentation is it you know, the speaker or it's a paper presentation or it's a thesis so you need to modify your present according to timing according to the rule book of that presentation or sometime there is a time limit limit understand what is the type of presentation you need to understand your audience also so giving it orthopedic uh, fraternity the words and the pictures and everything which i using will be different while this is you know common medical platform so we give the images the examples everything which is you know common same way sometimes you you are to non medical group also then your medical will not pull there so we need to understand our audience we need to understand the knowledge of the audience. so we we need to know what is their actual knowledge and what is their perceived knowledge that is there is a what is the gap of knowledge in between in which we are going to work we need to know the expectation of the audience sometime what happens you know there is a big uh, a hit movie coming the trailer and everything but the picture doesn't uh, is not that good expectations were very high and the picture was average then picture will go flop so we need to set expectation of our audience yeah so first of all when whenever we are you know, to speak anywhere we need to see what are the venue arrangement and the resources which uh, are at the venue and what is given to us what is the hall it's a small room. it's a big hall what is the stage it is elevated or it's a level all that on your presentation effects you know sometime if there's a flat hall and the screen is very and the people will not be able to see the uh, lower part of your presentation that that makes a difference so you need to be what is the environment where you are going to speak we need to see that whether the screen led or projector because the led screens are very big. they are usually 16 by 9 so 
if the LED screen screens are there, you don't keep a very bright background. So if there is a room, uh, the room which is not well lit and it's a projector, then you need to have a bright. So these are the things which you need to take care. What is the slide format which the audio person are going to give, the event manager are going to give? Because there are two uh, slide formats. One is for and one is 16 by 9. So if it's a inconclusive, you don't know what is going to happen. You 16 by 9 because it's going to be the future of every presentation in most of the places. Uh, it is 16 by 9. And 16 raised to 9 is easy to convert in 4 to 3 numbers. So we need to see what are the software level uh, version uh, which a individual person are doing. So if I am making my presentation in 2019, my older version is older version, then some of my feature won't work. In that case, you, you will have a real trouble in your presenting uh, while you, you are doing. Some video may not work, effect may not work. So we need to understand what is the level of you know, their software version. You can see PowerPoint present accordingly whenever you are going to give that lecture in version of uh, Microsoft Office or PowerPoint or any other say. You need to see what are the see whether your laptop is going to be there or their laptop you are supposed to use, whether there is a preview room is there or not. The cables which are there. See, I I, I was uh, lecture in Rajkot Orthopedic Society and I, I went there with Innova Yoga which was having no VG output. It was HDMI regular. It was not having HDMI mini connection. It was having a micro HDMI output. We audiovisual person was not having. So I at that time I had my hard disk ready. So I could you know immediately give my presentation into hard disk. So we need to see what hardware which are available there. And you need to keep a backup in storage. Is sometimes like the same uh, experience which I had, my micro HDMI port was not compatible with the uh, hardware which were there with the audio visual. So I had a hard disk. So you need to have a hard disk or a pen drive. You can even store into mobile. You can upload it to the cloud or you can what you, you just, uh, you know, mail itself to yourself. In a, in a mail, your uh, attachment uh, uh, will be there, which you can download in emergency. Also, nowadays, you can upload it to your social media like telegram or uh, my, uh, whatsapp also to prepare see once once we know what are what is going to be the setup then to the before presentation how how we prepare ourselves so we need to prepare resources see if i'm going to give a talk on this subject like presentation i need to go through I need to the, what is the current status what are the current recommendation then i decide what will of my talk then I segregate material into the mold of the flow which I provided. And then I start actually making the presentation. So my presentation which is given or which presentation which I am doing on my computer is actually made on first. And then only the implementation of making of presentation happens. Then after I made it, I have to edit it. I have to cut the unnecessary things. And then at the last, rehearse it. So, there, there is a one, uh, you know, uh, instruction time, which is this is from a, a book known as a slideology, where if if they to give you know talk up say some fifteen to twenty minute, which is a new to you, you need to uh, do research, which may take up your six six to twenty hours. Same way you need to do your audio, decide the flow of talk. Everything take up takes up time. Then the presentation one takes a, uh, the highest time. So yeah, then at the last you need to so, so total some 30 to 40 hours of preparation goes present before actually presenting it. So we need to know that okay, what, what is the deadline of my talk and I need to do that uh, in, in before that but, uh, at the last moment, so, you know, by, uh, this captain is doing. So what are the content of any talk? So content of the, the then you need to define the outcome of my talk, your talk. So the, what I did, you know, in the first slide, that my learning outcome of this slide, you know, my presentation is going to flow like this. So people know where, where you're going. Then second thing, you need to know what is the last message which to give to my audience. So we need to create a closer. Know what are the outcome. Once you know what are the closer, then you actually design your whole presentation. The presentation usually, you know, in a three part, 
the set or a start then comes the main content part of it then the closer or the last message once you have done your lecture then you add it it ruthlessly because whenever you make your you know present one or matlab uh, first uh, uh, copy of it it is material which is actually uh, of no use there are some repetitions of word and repetition of slide to be very sharp very precise and you need to give it very crisp so you edit it nicely you need to then prepare the resources if you are planning to give you know, handouts or if you are planning to give the pdf copy of your presentation or you you need some references you need to prepare what are the which i am going to give then last is the practice practice and practice so at the start of your talk you need to give some idea what you are going to speak so we have to declare the learning outcome in our first one or two or three slides that okay, we i am going to speak on this subject to cover this much and this is going to be the message of my talk they should is the flow of this talk going to be then you tell them in advance that i am going to give you handout for this presentation otherwise what happens the audience sometimes you know they keep on writing they keep on clicking the images for that they lose their concentration so if to give some material tell them in advance the once you know preparation part is gone now i'll speak about what are the basic principles uh, of presentation you know, currently in in uh, in uh, work so, uh, there are some topics which covering in short are designing a slide background selection the fonts uh, inserting images and the videos we'll talk about the slide design we need to have a consistent format of the background layout out of our presentation we, we need not keep you know changing one slide is of this color, slide is of other color and learn that the less and simple is better if you if you give full full you know all full of knowledge is probably they lose written not get what you want to say them so you have to give it in a very precise this and you try and minimize your you know content you more of you know give your message speech so you can you can have you know if you want to learn regarding this more into detail there are recently three four very fine webinars are done in groups gujarat orthopedic association ortho tv there are some online resources you can go for a good slide designs on a big you can go to canva there is a book slideology and overall otherwise is always there if you want to search anything if you want to have you know templates there are always templates which are in uh, powerpoint but then you can get online temp uh, templates also there is one uh, website side carnival which also you can use i recommend you not to use any designer uh, templates use simple bold color two or three color scheme no fuss on the background because you are not there to you know present a fashion show or a entertain you are going to give them knowledge you need to you know scientific uh, presentation should have a very simple uh format of you know slide design all that we should avoid irrelevant or images to fill the space there are many many speakers you know they uh, uh keep on you know keep family photos or they travel recent travel which they have done so th those are not going to be the message of the uh, you know that present scientific presentation so it will distract it will create some different kind of thought process in your audience yeah uh, whenever present you know figures uh, then you don't write down in figures you try and give it into diagrams and graphs so this is again a strong message probably which i want to give you uh, throughout my presentation you have to keep it small short don't put everything in one slide this is a maharaja thali which has you know uh, ten uh, tens of things and uh, when you at the end of uh, uh, you know eating you might not be knowing that which was having what test instead whenever you are giving presentation it has to be like you know this simple uh, platter of idli which is having only one thing and you enjoy it and at the end it, at least you can say how uh, wonderful that idli was so uh, speaking about the slide background we keep pictures of people nature or texture we we should keep it uh, uh, solid whenever it is possible we have to do you know combination of bright as well as dark that will i will cover in few slides next few slides so then you have to do contrast selection color selection then themes and difficult color or color for uh, color for color blinds should be used 
and uh, whenever you use dark background it is always better because most of the time either people are uh, looking on the led screen or if say this webinar is most of the people will be looking on their mobile the mobile which is very bright you know that is very close to your eyes so it it gives you a you know, less eye strain when you use dark background also it consumes less power also so the base the themes which we use two basic themes which you use are a dark background or light background you can both but they have some difference you know what should be used when so whenever uh, there is you know uh, ambient light in the hall there is a big hall there is a led screen it is better you use a dark, dark screen but if you are presenting in a small room the room is not well lit then you use a, a light background so because the background it gives some light to that room then uh, dark when then it's not good if to print on handouts which is you know vice versa with the light background object will uh, definitely glow when you will be uh, working on uh, dark background you know light sound will be good when you want to uh, show the shadows and all that this is a typically example of a slide which you should avoid you know that's a very bright color and many colors which probably straining to your eyes and you will not be able to. so these are the slide which you need to Uh, avoid avoid doing this uh, this type of stuff. so a texture background you know it gives lot of strain to your eyes and and don't don't use this uh, this you know lightly textured background can be used but as far as possible i would suggest you to use you know a blank or a flat uh, background rather than this texture and this is a gradient uh, type of background which many people use the problem with the gradient background is that can a one one uh, end of your slide it's dark and one end of your slide it's bright so you cannot you know font selection becomes very difficult so because the font some point of uh, some area of your presentation the font will be not be contrasting much so you should avoid you should also avoid this type of pictures of nature which are distracting thought process of uh, audience as well as to the uh, vision of the uh, uh, audience so this this which you are should avoid so this is a slide if we can see see everything is you know straining uh, if there is a low contrasting contrasting color then it will be not be very highlighting if you use uh, a combination of very bright color it will be very difficult red green blue green and red are typically the color uh, combination which you need to avoid when presentation so what you have to do for selection of colors go to the powerpoint palette there this type of palette you will be able to see out of that palette if you want to use dark background the outer aspect of your this palette and the same time use the uh, fonts from the inner aspect so it will be dark background and a light fonts same way you can do vice versa if you want to do light background then use from the center part of the palette and use your fonts from the outer part of the palette comes this is a typically another background which other than using in right now my presenter said this is also a very good when you are doing led screen black background another uh, uh, dark another uh, semi dark big background light background in which you have a dark colors uh, so these are the backgrounds which i said now see there are sometimes the people keep on writing the whole paragraph so what happens psychologically when have something material which is written on your powerpoint presentation then people tend to read everything so before you speak they read it so they, there is a mismatch between your mind and their mind so always avoid writing paragraphs on that so whenever you are using you know lines per slide then you uh, use not more than six line per slide you should not be using more than per line and you should avoid putting full stop at the end and preferably you should not uh, do any th important thing in the lower one fourth of your slide because many, uh, people will uh, because of the audience people will not be able to see the lower fourth of your presentation so you need to minimize the line detail i will give you the live example so if you know this is uh, a, a slide which says that can minimize line details so there are which i am going to read what is the start with action word and avoid full sentence check spelling errors and synonyms from thesaurus use bullets and sub bullets and no sub sub and avoid punctuation mark 
So what if I want to minimize this detail? So you decide what are the actions. Then you test of the thing which are not useful. So now these are I have decided my action words and these are the things which I want to use. Then I will use that part only. So it is the same thing, but people will now be concentrating on a speaker or a myself rather than on a slide. So same is given. You need to avoid full sentences. In fact, I have pictureized that the bullets, sub bullets, and then you avoid sub sub bullets and avoid punctuation mark even in a punctuation. So that's how you need to detail. So whenever you you are done with your uh, presentation, you always go for content verification. You do sp uh, spelling check, and you can you know change some word if you wish by synonyms. This facility given in uh, the PowerPoint. You check for the correct name of the authors and put article reference whenever you are using article from the uh, is like you know PubMed or something. Then we come to which type do you need to use. So out of fonts, there is a typing, there is a styling, there is a case, and there is a size, which will go uh, in super detail of everything. We should use simple fonts whenever it is possible, like Arial, Tahoma, and Microsoft, which are almost same. If you want to do some change, we can use Verdana, but you should avoid, you know, serif fonts like Roman, Harrington, or Lucida handwriting. So those are actually not, you know, see, whenever you are giving a presentation, you want to convey your scientific message and not people uh, want your people to distract in your slides. So there is a nice piece of which I recently learned from the webinar by Dr. Uh, Ajay Thakur, a senior orthopedic surgeon. What are the serif and sans serif? Serif fonts are the fonts which are having, you know, projection. I'll uh, give you what is that projection. I will give you a, a pointer. And yes, yeah, that's it. So this is, you know, these projections are known as a uh, uh, fonts. And since no. So sans fonts are the fonts which are having projections. So sans serif fonts are preferable. And whenever possible, you should not use bolic or underlines unnecessary in our presentation. So what are the fonts which we need to use? See, in this slide, if you see, all the fonts are of a different size. Inside of that, the size of the font is written. So if your consistent size of font you should use throughout your presentation, and you uh, for the heading, you use up to 44 to 54 size. And for the description, you go up to 28 to 30. And the smaller than that are actually, you know, uh, sometimes, you know, big audience from the back of the uh, audience, people may not be able to see those fonts. You should at least uh, have a minimum of 28 size. Then, so you always sentence case whenever you are uh, writing your lines. Uh, do not use each word and don't use uppercase because it is very distracting. Usually, a line for the body. Headings in a regular slide should be left, but can be and title usually is centered. So there are many people's facility of animation is given in PowerPoint. So, you know, using animations. So animations actually to be avoided in scientific deliberation because it is to our eyes. You can animate line by line. If you want to, you know, not uh, you don't your audience keep on reading your slide, then you can animate line by line. But else, is you can highlight the current line and the, you can grayscale the previous ones. That's a, these are good way of keeping your audience uh, stick to what you are speaking. So then comes you know big part. You know you uh, need to add pictures whenever medical uh, you know some orthopedic picture is there. There are some uh, other clinical skin people, people to show some lesion. So what what you have to do? You remove your necessary. Uh, outer area which is they are not so in the left side if you can see the picture is edited and the only area is high table osteotomy surgery which I have done I want to concentrate people to see only on this and to just change from the background there is a there is a uh, framing is also highlighted in white so this is a good way of presenting your picture if you are uh, good, you know cons uh, consequent uh, images like you know there is a skin lesion to patient so that in a second week, third week, fourth week, how it is, you should keep the orientation of your anatomy consistent. Otherwise, you know, uh, if the some way it is 90 degree, 
it's upside down then people will uh, get distracted and we need to have lighting uh, we are doing you know uh, this type of photography so editing so whenever whenever you get any image from your mobile or your from then you need to edit them how can you edit them the best way to edit them is your mobile so you get that image in and there are very nice software if you are using any android phone there are gal there are settings where you can go to edit and then you can crop areas which you don't want you can downsize also so one another uh, trick of downsize give you is okay, whenever you take your smartphone uh, photograph like the photograph that photograph will be then 2 mb which will make your present pretty much overloaded if there are some 10 photograph presentation so what you do you edit in your camera edit here in your uh, then of the final editing you take a screenshot the screen are uh, dramatically reduces the size of your image it will come into kb and then you through the social media and then you capture to your powerpoint presentation so the image quality reasonable to present while that image size will go very much down whenever you want to you know uh, insert any picture like you are doing some presentation on your laptop then you take it from the google and directly copy there and paste it sometimes that image of very high resolution and very high in uh, data size so that is actually not required for uh, presentation so it is better to make a folder simultaneously your folder of presentation get that image there and from powerpoint you make it in then go to that so because what will happen it will automatically downsize your slide uh, size don't just copy and paste it from and you can downsize as the resource also so for x rays because i am an orthopedic surgeon i can't stop myself uh, people like, you know x ray of the uh, image uh, image of an x ray then can true for you know sonography plates or mri plates or ct scan plates the usually you know we have seen in this a left side picture if you can see it is no way is correct so there are uh, view box is seen there are patient seen and uh, you know background uh, shadow from the curtain on my room place also uh, over to it there are no right perspective you see the x ray from the obliquity of the view the perspectives are not right and you see the flesh is all on and the blue is seen everything of this you can edit as opposed to edit because in this themselves distract rather than concentrate so in the right side image if you can see simply i have just cropped the unnecessary area i have take uh, that in a gray scale so these are the you know uh, points which you need to take care you should not you should clean your lens always before taking your image you have to keep your perspective proper by keeping your camera parallel to your view box you the box uh, for coming your unnecessary light which actually uh, exposure uh, goes down because over light which is thrown at the camera sensor when you use x ray into gray scale it will give a better image and it will go, go as a lower size image which will be better for your uh, you know uh, of data presentation and see that whenever you are taking any anatomic part or anatomic picture then you should don't change the dimension of that x ray or particular ct scan so uh, you there is another possibility so if you have a soft copy of it see if there is a ct scan and you want this is from that you ask your radiologist to give a copy of that that will be a very neat and clean and very much low in size so what happens that actual image is in kbs and you take with your smartphone you make that kb images into mb images so it is always better you take image from the cr or from the source like you know, for something you always uh, always the identity of so same way uh, many times in a medical field when we want you know uh, focus and clarity and detail we use uh, images with dynamic result and something like that we need to use so whenever you take your uh, you have a proper lighting and once you have done it you edit it to downsize you can in fact uh, downsize it into whatsapp uh, take the only useful part of it make a gif of that which will make it very low size and 
unless you uh, you know make it automatic to start in your presentation because many times you have seen that when a presentation is going on the presenter is fumbling to you know start his video and usually ap4 works well for windows media file can be used and to run your video smoothly you need to first if whenever your you know uh, conference uh, management allows you should attach your computer computer so it will be you know definite sure sort of running your video smoothly if it is possible in latest version of powerpoint you can embed it or what happens you can you can you know save it into older version if the event manager have older version sometimes to give them in a pen drive what you do the, you take your resource videos into the and you give that folder from which that is connected also to the that pen drive so that that sometime you know your powerpoint link up with that folder and always 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 check before presentation whether it is running or so slide uh, uh, whenever you are doing your last slide you give your contact details there are many people who may need some further information can contact you and you keep your take home message on the last slide rather than giving you know the last uh, vacation where you have taken so people can by the time the presentation is changing can your and do not paste uh, uh, post your family pictures on last last slide now i about 10% of my presentation is remaining so edit it ruthlessly remove your slide save a final copy of your presentation and downsize downsize your images and video then save it into any of the storage bin you uh, many a time use humor but there is no you know limit to humor Always, whenever you are using humor, use that in moderate, and always see that okay, humor is not hurting any group of people. This is also a very useful thing to master to keep the uniformity to attach the logo which I have attached on right side or size of my uh, uh, PowerPoint presentation. Then on a stick, you can use your social media for content storage, which I have spoken about. and sometimes when uh, you have a shortage of time you remember the number slide which is your conclusion slide say for example this is a 40 second slide running time is okay and my conclusion slide is on a 50th so i simply what you do is at 50 and enter then you will directly jump to your conclusion so even nobody in the audience or the uh, professors will be knowing that okay, you have actually jumped your slides and frequently when you are working use superscript subscript whenever you want to use you can use strike to you have a go, uh, got you know uh, synonym check facility on that and you use smart guide when you are aligning your whenever you are delivering you can use you use a laser pointer like one which I right now uh, and you should be concentrating more on a speech and more on a message rather than even so in a delivery it's a small mnemonic which we you want to remember a lecturer uh, uh, have a you know uh, uh, control of which you keep a eye on for your presenting in audience not on webinars you you can have a comedy but as i told you you have to be in moderate and you have to control and you have to control on your talk timing also you be prepared for some unexpected event on the side or sometime from the some question comes and you have to do your real sales beforehand and you engaging your your uh, crowd because sometime after say 2 3 four minutes start distracting you ask some question throw some question throw some challenge to them they will get engaged and what your audience is responding sometime they are yawning and you are going on speaking does so not happen at the last uh, once your presentation is done always review and feedback always be critical about what you have spoken about and how your uh, uh, thing went whether it went well or there improvement get some feedback from audience as dr pragnes is all at the end of this there will be check form link into the youtube as well as on the facebook page which i am requesting all the audience to fill so that make you know better and better program and you want to like you know this webinar going to be available on uh, youtube so i need to see in my video and be critical about what i can improve less time so every time when you present anything you need to give commitment to your 
change i will change for better i will look for my uh, faults in changes unless you commit to change so in a conclusion i would say that you should all always be concerned about what uh, what is said see you as a, as a presenter what happens you always think that okay, what is best what is lots of information which you want to give i can speak uh, for a powerpoint presentation so two hours four hours but that time which you are given so you all you are always worried about what is but the is always about what is said so you you control your you keep it keep it simple if if your audience can learn three things then then you are done i again thank you everybody for your kind hearing thank you thank you sir for such a power pack talk hello thank you sir for such a power pack talk yeah i think I, yes i think sir after watching this we would be confident enough to prepare and rather start our own ppt rather than relying on our techno staff <laughs> I, i i hope i can prepare. because actually you you need uh, don't need to make you know uh, techno uh, powerpoint you need to keep it very simple uh, so yes, so sir. i probably do see uh, all the people computer people which are going to teach you this power have a much much marks in their 12th standard when you have passed your 12 all yes. more intelligent than anybody who is teaching to you so you some time when you you can be there yes sir and i, I am sure that if all the points are duly followed none of our audience would even blink an eye from our presentations thank you uh Uh, sir, there is one question. Uh, where to check the orientation? Whether it is sixteen is to nine or four is to three? You can go into the slide master and slide master uh, at the start of your talk. You can go to the slide master. In the top row, uh, the options of you know screen size is given. Okay, I think the sir has addressed the answer. Uh, now I invite Dr. Jasband Darwar sir for some quickies. Good morning, okay. dear friends. Am I audible? am i audible yes doctor yes doctor dhirubal yes. good morning dear friends wait, wait well, for a second let him let him share the slide first who share the slides please slide for doctor dhirubal please yes doctor dhirubal you yes. can go ahead now yes good morning dear friends welcome to hitcon quickies it's a 2 minutes quick uh, new invention in healthcare technology see healthcare technology in day in day out is changing the health care management this is a uh, this is a virtual nurse assistant this meet it is uh, it is from miami it has changed almost everything if you call this nurse with virtual nurse it will you will be feel like there is somebody is talking to you it helps first of all this uh, it is a first of world's virtual nurse assistant it helps in healthcare management it it extracts data of clinical and non clinical data from your uh, backup data and it identifies the problems of the, your disease which 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 may progress or not progress and thus it will inform you that your disease progresses and you contact your doctor and it also prevents emergency which sometimes happens second thing it day in day out or every week it calls you for your symptoms for your vital checks and everything third thing it also reminds you for your appointment to the your doctor and remind remind you for take all your pills and everything whether you are taking regularly or not and it also suppose if you have any clinical symptoms and if you feed it then he will tell you by clinical symptoms based on that you might be having this disease and he will the or he or she will take an appointment of appropriate doctor thus this this is a properly based on artificial intelligence and uh, this artificial intelligence will sooner or later will revolutionize and rewrite the healthcare management thank you super super dr darbar and say as you as we already know artificial intelligence has got a very very big role to play in the healthcare of the future to come over to you dr krupal thank you sir moving ahead our next speaker is dr devasis saini sir a brief introduction of our, about our devasis sir uh, sir has done his mbbs from our very prestigious all india institute of medical sciences new delhi 
followed by mm med family medicine from the again very prestigious cmc velour and master of science health informatics from us sir is a family physician and senior entrepreneur with special interest in practice management training and mentorship for the last 10 years he has been building and managing family practice clinics in gurgaon and delhi sir enterprise that is ross clinics provides quality affordable primary care to urban families and opportunities for growth to family physician over to you sir for your talk on how to enhance your online presence over to you sir saini sir thank you dr kripal for uh, dr saini uh, you can say next every time when you want to uh, yes dr pramesh i will do that uh, let's have my slides on uh, yes, and in the meantime let me thank uh, uh, hitcon and dr pragnesh specifically and thanks dr kripal for that introduction Uh, so this uh, topic uh, that i am going to talk about is very close to my heart uh, how to enhance your online presence and uh, we can do that in just four weeks and uh, uh, since uh, hitcon is uh, uh, very much about making uh, doctors tech savvy and uh, helping and hand holding uh, this uh, was a very uh, nice topic that we chose and uh, presented to you today next slide please So this is what we're going to talk about today. Uh, first of all, why online presence? Why do we want to spend so much time and energy on building our online presence? And we'll take two perspectives on that. Uh, one is a patient decision-making perspective, and one is our own practice perspective. Then we'll discuss what are the basic building blocks of online presence and how to build these online presence building blocks in four weeks. Uh, of course, some of these uh, 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 topics are going to be taken later in this conference today by other doctors. So I'm going to briefly touch on these and uh, uh, cover the overall uh, arena of uh, online presence. Next, please. So let's uh, uh, discuss why online presence. Uh, it, it, it seems like it takes a lot of effort in building our online presence. So why should we go to all that trouble? So I present to you the first perspective and the next slide, which is the patient decision-making process. So uh, let's imagine a, a person who is uh, uh, who has some symptom, uh, and six-year-old lady has uh, joint pains, for example, and uh, her son is uh, trying to make a decision as to which doctor they should consult. Um, so in the stage one, they are looking for references. Uh, what are the all the list of doctors that uh, are suitable uh, for them to consult? In stage two, uh, they are trying to gather information about all of these doctors and trying to shortlist or make a decision as to, okay, this is the one doctor that we want to visit. Now in stage three, they are looking for information, how to uh, get an uh, appointment with this doctor or how to visit that doctor's clinic. And then once that the visit is done, then uh, we need, uh, there are some things uh, to do to make a decision about making a repeat visit to the same doctor. So uh, online presence can help, help us in all of these stages and we'll go one by one. Next slide, please. So let's focus on the stage one first. Uh, when the people are looking for references, uh, of course in India, there's still the main look, uh, source of references is word of mouth. Chachi ke, Bhatije ke, Sadhu ke, Bete ne, jo hai wahan kar aaya tha, to mein bhi wahin ja raha hoon, doctor usko dikhane. Uh, so, uh, references uh, mostly come from word of mouth of our relatives and friends and colleagues. Uh, but uh, people are waking up now to do direct internet searches. Uh, they might, uh, for example, search for uh, doctors for joint pain in Rajkot. Um, or uh, they might do indirect searches. They might look for just joint pain and uh, see some videos and uh, see some educational content and then get impressed by the doctors who have created those content and then decide to go visit that doctor. So those are the indirect searches. Uh, and there are online groups on uh, Facebook and WhatsApp now where people are asking questions, okay, which uh, doctor is best for this? Uh, can you compare this doctor versus this doctor? All of that is happening now uh, in, in India. Next, please. So having listing on several uh, 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 listing sites uh, such as uh, Google Just Dial, um, as well as uh, having educational content uh, helps quite a lot in uh, uh, this stage, helping patients uh, 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 find you when they're looking for references. 
next stage please the stage 2 they are trying to make a decision um, so they are trying to find out more information on the doctor's competence uh, is the doctor good enough uh, what, what is the convenience how far are they located from our place uh, is it uh, convenient as to time uh, you know are they only available in certain slot or uh, they are available when it is convenient for the family to visit how affordable they are you know for the middle class and lower classes the affordability is also a big uh, issue and uh, this uh, uh, you know is a very interesting thing so people who have already visited some doctor uh, they are looking for doctors who can give them personal attention so one of the most common uh, uh, complaints of patient these days is doctor in time nahi diya doctor was uh, you know just uh, looked at me didn't even listen to me and i wrote a prescription so they are looking for doctors who can give them personal attention and this is one of the specific things they are looking for in patient reviews so next so getting a lot of reviews on your listings uh, can actually help next please uh, on your google business profile or on your websites if you have reviews of from patients and uh, the other information as well uh, about your degrees and uh, your timings and your address of the clinic Uh, that helps them to make a decision whether uh, they feel you are competent enough, uh, whether it's convenient for them to visit, and whether it's affordable. Next, please. So now we come to the third stage, and uh, now uh, they have decided uh, to visit you, but they still need information how to get to you. So they need the address, they need the timings, and they need to know what is your appointment system and the phone number uh, to call and ask all of these questions. next so having all of this information on your google business profile or on your website in very clear manner next please and uh, maybe some other listings also uh, on the internet uh, makes it very easy for the people to find you and find the information that they need to consult you but the story doesn't end here right when they have reached your clinic so next stage please Uh, now uh, we also need to ensure that when they need to come for follow up maybe 3 months down the line they still remember and they still like you enough to uh, visit you uh, and in that uh, continuous patient engagement is the key uh, term there uh, we continuously keep our patients engaged and the technology has makes it very easy for us uh, use of online presence uh, helps us build a brand Uh, on uh, our competence and convenience and personal attention, and uh, gradually build a fan following also. So this fan following will then become the internet warriors for you and post your details whenever someone asks for uh, your details or uh, when someone asks for a query. Next, please. And in this last stage, the most interesting things happen where we create patient support groups. Uh, we leverage our local networks online. and we create uh, social media pages and profiles to keep our patients engaged next now we come to the uh, practice perspective um, so a lot of you might be thinking my practice is already very busy or uh, some doctors may not even have started their practice so is this relevant for them so yes uh, it helps all practices whatever stage you may be uh, everyone can benefit by enhancing the online presence next please So if you are in the idea stage, you haven't even started. You can still still start building a fan following on social media. So initially, your when you start a practice, the initial uh, few patients will come from your network of people that already know you. So your relatives, your colleagues, your uh, uh, you know uh, friends, uh, your your classmates. Uh, at least uh, they should start uh, uh, knowing that. Uh, Uh, you are competent and you are ethical and you are uh, invested in patient education and you care about people and the more you get in their minds the more they start becoming a bigger fan of yours and the, uh, when you are ready to start your practice you'll be starting with run, uh, your feet running rather than waiting for a few months to you know for the patients to come so uh, in the idea stage you can build up your uh, fan following so that people start uh, and they become so excited about oh you have already started your practice i am going to come tomorrow uh, and and this is this is kind of uh, uh, one answer to the question that i gave people uh, young doctors when they ask me okay if i start my practice will people come uh, and i say uh, sure yeah let's start right 
now and uh, start building your online presence uh, so that uh, uh, your success is guaranteed when you close, start your clinic. Next, please. Now, when the clinic is an early stage, uh, what they're looking for is new patient referrals. And as we discussed in the last uh, section, uh, having uh, information online on portals and uh, Google business and your own website helps uh, the patients take that decision of uh, coming to you. Uh, and uh, they can uh, get accurate information to schedule an appointment with you. Uh, very easily, they can get all that accurate information. So having uh, uh, accurate information and uh, being present on a lot of different places and on the internet helps uh, early stage clinics. Uh, next, in the mid stage, uh, you want to continue building relationship with your existing patients, make sure they keep coming back to you. And also do you continue to get new referrals, which again, uh, all of this helps with. And uh, the last uh, is the uh, last piece. Uh, that's the mature stage. Uh, uh, where you may not be looking uh, or that hungry for new referrals, but uh, you want to continue to build ever stronger relationship with your loyal patients um, so that uh, uh, they keep coming to you and uh, never go to anyone else. And what for that, the patient engagement activities that we'll discuss uh, will help. Okay, so next slide, please. Now it feels like that uh, we're, we need to do so much of uh, you know things to build up your online presence. And these are the basic building blocks of online presence that I would like to present to you. Google business listing, and we'll have a full session on this coming up in the uh, conference today. Other online listings are also there, and we'll uh, touch upon those. Your own website, uh, your own social media profiles. Uh, these are all very uh, key in uh, managing and building your online presence. And patient support groups, uh, local networks we can leverage to uh, build our online presence and uh, keep on developing patient educational content. Next slide, please. Now, this seems like a lot of work. So let's break it down. Let's break it down into uh, weekly things that uh, we can do gradually, gradually. Next slide. Please. Next slide. Now, uh, we'll go week by week and make sure that by four weeks, we have an extensive online presence on the internet in a lot of places where uh, 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 patients uh, can find you very easily. All right, so next slide. Let's, let's see what we need to do in week, week, week one. So week one is for preparation. Now, uh, this uh, first tip may seem like it's a very, very simple thing, but this is this may be the most important thing that you can do for your online presence. Beside your name, address, and phone number, uh, this is called NAP. And the key thing is that if Google finds the exact same NAP on multiple websites, it ranks you higher. And by exact same NAP, I mean that we cannot have uh, one single uh, you know, a comma or a, a dot or uh, uh, you know, phone number code here and there. So it should be exactly the same everywhere uh, on your social media profiles, on your website, on your Google Ad business, exactly the same. So take some time. And in the first week, decide your nap. I'll write it down uh, two or three times and uh, do some iterations. Uh, you may have to decide whether you want to go with your own name or with your clinic name, or maybe a combination of that. So one of our uh, my juniors has uh, uh, written Dr. So-and-so, uh, Dr. So-and-so's Trinity Spine Clinic. Um, and, and, and that's usable also, but you have to decide that. This is what's going to be the name of uh, my entity everywhere uh, on the internet. Uh, address same ways. You have to decide whether you want to write first floor or FF or uh, uh, any abbreviation of that, uh, whether you want to say opposite Yes Bank or you want to say a nearby Bika Nirwala shop. Uh, so you have to decide all of that and make sure that every place has the same exact address and the phone number. Uh, even in phone number, uh, do you want to give your mobile or the clinic mobile or the clinic landline? Uh, you can give multiple numbers, but those numbers should be exactly the same everywhere. Uh, if Google finds the exact same NAP on multiple websites, it ranks you higher. Just remember that. All right, next, please. What else do we need to prepare? Photographs, of course. Uh, uh, text is boring, so uh, we need to have a lot of photographs uh, yourself, uh, your clinic from the outside with the board on, and from inside, 
and your logo. Uh, if you have, if you don't, then uh, just invest some time and effort in creating a logo. Uh, it, the clinic should, the photographs, uh, uh, what we're looking for is uh, they should make the patients feel welcoming. And uh, they should make sure that, that it looks clean and organized. Uh, and once patients see that, they get uh, excited. Search for yourself on Google uh, and uh, search both your, your name and your clinic's name. And uh, you may find that you're already on internet. Uh, but make a note of those existing listings and profiles right now so that uh, we can edit them in the later stages. Uh, this is just the preparation stage right now. So we want to know what their baseline is, where, where we are on Google right now. Next, please. And now decide the top three websites you want to create profiles on. Uh, there's a whole list of uh, social media profiles and websites and uh, pages uh, uh, that, uh, you know, listings that uh, uh, you can build your profile on. Uh, but start with top three because uh, uh, initially, if we start doing too many things, it becomes very difficult to manage. Once you get the hang of it, then you can do as many as 10 uh, in one go or uh, you can hire uh, or you can teach your staff to do some of those and some of them you are taking care of yourself. But initially just focus on top three. And ideally these top three should address different audiences. So uh, maybe one audience is actually your uh, professional colleagues. And uh, we need to have one profile at least which addresses that. Uh, so for example, on Facebook, it may be more to do with the general patients. Uh, but uh, for your colleagues, you might want to have a profile on list, uh, LinkedIn. And uh, one more, uh, maybe if you have young people coming, then uh, Instagram or Twitter may be a good choice. Uh, but uh, this, this top three websites you may have to decide on. And we have a one full session on social media that will also help. Next. Now we are ready. Uh, we have done our preparation and we are ready to create profiles. Uh, these top three, I would strongly recommend uh, Google My Business uh, should be there and you should own it if it's already there. Um, either create a new profile or you own your profile that may already be there on Google. And uh, we'll have a full session on this. Facebook page and LinkedIn, uh, these two I would strongly recommend. LinkedIn is no longer just a, a job seeking website or a, uh, just a, you know uh, sending and receiving these networking uh, 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 what do we call uh, uh, invitations, uh, but it's also now becoming a social media hub. So it's a social media website for professionals where people are putting a lot of professional content and uh, trying to impress each other. Uh, and, and once you uh, develop uh, standing on that, then uh, uh, you, you definitely can start getting uh, a lot of referrals from colleagues as well. Uh, next, please. Next, uh, you can think about the Just Dial and YouTube. Uh, Just Dial also uh, it does give some referrals uh, on a monthly basis. And uh, YouTube is very powerful in terms of videos. Uh, so uh, a lot of India is moving on videos now. Uh, there is free uh, internet uh, or very, very low cost internet available even in the villages. And they are all watching videos on their mobile phones. Uh, plus, there is a lot of uh, let's say need for content in local languages. So if you create videos in Hindi, Gujarati, uh, those will be watched uh, very, very hugely and uh, uh, your uh, following can rise very, very rapidly. And a lot of people actually watch these videos. A lot of specialists have told me that uh, I put on these YouTube videos and people watch them and come to me for, uh, you know, uh, as first time consult consultations. Uh, next, now if you're still feeling or if you already have some of these profiles and uh, you can then think of Tractor or Librate and uh, Twitter, Instagram also. Next, please. Now uh, we have already created some profiles and we already have some profiles. So next step is to build an audience. Now, before we do that, uh, we have to put some existing educational content so that it doesn't look like a blank page and we are just asking people to like that blank page. Just put three or four, uh, some existing videos which are relevant to your audience, some photographs, uh, some uh, pictures of your uh, own uh, or some achievements of your own. So some content should be there on your uh, Google business profile or on your Facebook page. Uh, and then the next step is to start inviting friends. So on your pages, uh, invite your friends, acquaintances, colleagues, and relatives. 
as I mentioned, these are going to be the first people who start referring patients to you. So we need to connect with them and uh, you know, kind of keep them updated. So they will be more, very, very excited about, oh, you've started your practice, oh, you had a new logo, oh, you, uh, you know, bought a new chair. They will be excited about it and they will like those things and uh, you know, they become part of your journey to start your practice and build up your practice. Uh, and uh, through that, once they become invested in you, then they will be happy to send patients also to you. Uh, plus, uh, whatever listings you have built up, uh, you can ask your existing patients to provide reviews on those. And, and some of your fan patients will be very happy to provide reviews, positive, glowing reviews. You just have to ask. And maybe you don't even have to ask. You can ask your staff to send links to uh, your fan patients and uh, start building those reviews and uh, uh, star ratings. Uh, interestingly, on Twitter and Instagram, the way to get more followers is to actually follow people. Uh, so it's kind of an unwritten, uh, polite uh, thing on Twitter and Instagram that uh, when you fo when you are followed by someone, you have to follow them back. So if you follow 100 people, uh, 100 uh, handles or uh, 100 profiles, then uh, at least uh, 70, 80 would follow you back. And that's how you build your uh, following on these profiles. And of course, uh, once you start posting content, then uh, it will build up even more. Now, uh, one thing very important to uh, uh, remember here is that we are interacting with people here. Uh, these, uh, so, uh, the, the computer and the internet has a, a very uh, unfortunate way of dehumanizing things. Uh, so we start thinking in terms of number of likes and comments, but these are not likes or comments. These are actually people. So uh, it's a, uh, when we interact with people, uh, when we uh, have engaging conversations or uh, responding to their emotions, uh, then uh, this audience build up, builds up even faster. Uh, plus, uh, you can invite your existing patients to join an online group. Uh, it could be a WhatsApp or Telegram group where uh, you start, you say, tell them that there would not be any spam on this. Uh, we will not be answering any uh, specific medical questions. But this is just for uh, sending some educational content on uh, specific things. So maybe you can have one for your diabetic patients, one for your spine patients, one for your um, uh, leukemia patients, and so on and so forth. Uh, there could be one for, uh, let's say, the caregivers also. Uh, it's, it's very tough sometimes for caregivers of people with chronic diseases, uh, you know, and, and they also need a place to uh, and discuss things. Next, please. All right, so now we have uh, uh, engaged, uh, we have created our profiles and we have built up our audience. Now we need to create content. And we don't need to create any, any just any content. We want to create engaging content. So content that people feel compelled to like, react, comment, share, retweet, uh, reblog, uh, and do something with it. Uh, it should be so compelling. Uh, so how do we create that engaging content? Next, please. So videos are the most engaging. So either we create our own videos or we find good videos and share them on our page. Um, we find uh, next is pictures. Pictures are not as engaging, but definitely more engaging than text. Uh, even text we can uh, in, uh, create big, we can make more engaging with the use of emojis, these smiley faces and uh, you know, different uh, animals and uh, cute little things. Uh, that uh, brings in some color and uh, emotions into that plain text. Uh, as doctors, we like to think in terms of, uh, you know, education is I tell you 10 different facts about your disease and uh, I tell you 10 different things to do and you follow them. But real world is not like that. Real world is about stories, emotions and uh, color and uh, uh, you know, all of that. So when we use uh, vibrant colors, when we use human figures, and we try to create content addressing the emotional part of the uh, disease or the health, then that becomes uh, engaging content. Uh, so for example, uh, it, it's uh, very easy to create a no smoking poster with just uh, saying a cigarette and you put a uh, red uh, you know, circle on top of it. Uh, and contrast with that, uh, uh, let's say a poster says, every cigarette you don't smoke is increasing your life by five minutes. 
that's an emotional appeal that's a positive thing and you put a human figure behind it and you use some colors on that and uh, that connects much more with the standard no smoking or uh, no quit smoking uh, uh, message that they see everywhere uh, and of course the content also has to be authentic uh, on a topical subject topical means that it is relevant it is now it is uh, trending uh, and there is a website called google trends that you can use to find out which topics are actually trending among patients right now which patients which topic the patients are searching right now in medical field and you can create content on those and catch that wave of uh, interest among people of course right now corona is the main thing uh, and anything uh, some of it has become overloaded also some people are uh, you know have it, have had it too much of it but still it's a topical subject and uh, anything that you post on it has a more chance of becoming engaging next please and of course once you have created the content share it share it in all your groups pages and profiles that you have created so far and then enjoy the engagement uh, don't enjoy it too much because it becomes very very addictive uh so we may need to have uh, uh, gita like uh, you know uh, this engagement with our uh, social media uh, and uh, we need to have uh, uh, deal with the positive and the negative uh, learn from it and and maybe make the next uh, content that we have more engaging next please All right. So this is a summary. Uh, a strong online presence helps our patients in all the four stages of decision, and a strong online presence helps practices in all the stages of growth. Uh, even when we are busy, we can build our online presence within four weeks if we focus on preparation in the first week. Name, address, phone number, very basic but very very important. Get some good photos, get a logo, and then in the week to create and own the profiles. Uh, whenever there are profiles on the internet, you have the option of saying that i am the owner of this profile and then uh, they let you edit those profiles and pages and the week 3 uh, uh, invite follow more people and interact with them and in the week 4 uh, start creating and sharing engaging content so that's my recipe for building online presence next slide please all right thanks so much for following can we just go back to the last slide of the summary please and uh, leave that on thank you sir uh we have some few questions sir if you don't mind sir sure sure please go ahead yes sir so one question is how to tackle negative reviews on social media right right i think that's one of the uh, uh drawbacks in doctors minds that if we create profiles they might be negative reviews on it uh, but what i look at that is an opportunity uh, if someone has written an online negative review uh most likely that was written in anger and uh, that's acceptable because we can't please everyone we have to do as doctors take decisions that are not pleasing for patients a lot of times and that part of the game uh, what we can do with that negative review is to use that to showcase our professional values so we can show them that we appreciate uh, we empathize with your emotional problem uh, that uh, yes uh, you must have felt bad at that time when that happened uh, we can uh, uh, show them that we understand the problem and explain the problem uh, you know uh, if there was a lot of waiting at that time because we are so busy right now uh, things are you know pretty bad uh, uh, everywhere uh, and there is a lot of waiting time which we are trying to reduce but uh, we can't be perfect with it and uh, do something to correct the problem uh, now this all of this is not to address that person it's actually to address anyone else who is reading that negative review so once someone sees a negative review and sees a very professional well balanced and uh, nicely written uh, uh, reply by the doctor or the clinic to that negative review that creates a very very lasting impact thank you sir hope it has uh, addressed the question uh, sir another question is how twitter works for building audience for doctors Okay, so Twitter. I'm also just figuring out. Uh, I have had a handle for a long time, but I recently started to post on it. It's a very, very uh, diverse uh, uh, audience, uh, and it's a very, let's say, uh, 
uh, it's a very very uh, short attention span so you write small things uh, you write your uh, you know what you're feeling and uh, what your uh, nice video you found next link you found uh, people interact with it uh, people also have conversations on it uh, and people have uh, let's say uh, share personal stories also doctors do share personal stories so one of my classmates uh, from medical college had a kidney stone he's a nephrologist and he has a kidney he had a kidney stone uh, because he got dehydrated during the corona uh, episode so he posted a, a picture of his uh, stones on twitter and uh, that got uh, uh, you know him uh, 20 30 likes and comments and everyone is saying oh nephrologist is getting stone and he said yes, yes it's very ironic isn't it uh, and uh, you know just a message of uh, drink water everyone please drink more water uh, don't get stones was also propagated so uh, twitter is uh, uh, and uh, is uh, everything or for everyone and uh, if you get the hang of it uh, if you uh, you know it can be a good tool to engage with people patients and the professional audience as well uh so last question we are getting late but still i'll need to take it sir uh, so your sure. opinion about uh, paid service of just dial okay so uh, just dial uh, it's good to have a free listing definitely uh, because that adds one more listing and uh, uh, people can get review that uh, just dial if people visit your clinic from just dial then it asks you them to you know rate you and gradually your ratings get built up and google uh, gets that rating from just dial uh, to uh, show it on their own page also uh now uh, paid listing uh, may or may not be fruitful for everyone uh, i have had doctors who have had good response i have had doctors who say no it was worthless and once we started our relationship with just dial it's very difficult to end that relationship because they keep on you know uh, deducting amount from your bank account uh what works is if you can find a niche in the whole city if there is one service that only you are providing and for that if you are on just dial then it becomes fruitful and then uh, you know uh, you can uh, very easily convert those leads that you're getting from just dial into actual patients otherwise uh, for general uh, practice it's uh, may it may not be worth it to be taken paid just thank you sir for briefly covering the topics which we can use in our day to day practice still there are many more questions but i uh, tell the audience that for more information we are also welcome to visit uh, sir's website that is uh, www.rossclinicsclinics.com and also sir might not be minding if we can mail to sir that is devashish@rossclinics.com and if i am not wrong sir Yes, yes, that's correct. And please, please, please uh, be happy to help out uh, anyone who has any questions about online presence and anything about and, practice and management. And definitely, in future, we'll have more sessions with him because I think the audience is more interested in this. <laughs> and sure, sir, we're very happy. Yes, sir. Many more questions yes. are coming, but to limit it, we are just uh, limiting now, sir. Yes, Thanks yes, a lot, sir. sir. Can we have the video, please, now? Yes. So we are also thankful to Hitcon Healthcare for arranging such a webinar, which is presented for the first time. Yes, sir. Welcome to Hitcon. You okay, must be the change to see in the world by Mahatma Gandhi. I did to embark upon a journey to empower the medical fraternity with technology and started an event called Hitcon Healthcare Technology Conference for doctors I by know. doctors. Kitcon is a platform where technology meets healthcare. We have created an ecosystem where experts from both fields can interact. We are a group of young dynamic tech savvy family physicians based in Ahmedabad, having wide experience of medical field and management. Let's take a look at Kitcon Healthcare Technology Conference of last few years.
silent features of HitCon. More than 2,500 doctors has participated in HitCon till date and upgraded their practice. Parallel hospitals speciality specific workshops. More than 10 corporate hospitals of Gujarat has participated till date. Basic technology workshops. Technology useful for all specialities. Let's take a look at our team. We invite you to become part of this mega. Yeah, uh, now I will invite Dr. Uh, Shiesh Butch for, for his presentation. Uh, Dr. Butch is uh, a consultant physician at Baroda and he is uh, got a special interest in cyber security. So I will request Dr. Butch sir, to proceed for his presentation. Dr. Butch sir, please. साउंड no hello can, can can you hear me yes yes now yes so we start hello yes hello friends are you able to hear me any one person please say yes Yes, yes. Now you are you are uh, uh, okay. quite uh, clear. Okay. Yeah, yes, good sir. Please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you very much, friends, for giving me this opportunity to talk at Rajkot from Ahmedabad uh, while I am in Baroda. I will be talking today about cyber security tips, about cyber crime via the computers and also via the cell phone. I am cyber secure Butch and. why do we need to talk about it because cyber security spends by 2022 are expected to be about 137 billion dollars expenses are going to rise is felt by 68% businesses and you will be surprised doctors that data breach has cost 4.1 billion in the 6 months of 2019 out of this 71% were financial and many of us have had the victim of these financial frauds 52% of them were done by hacking 28% were by malware and 32% were either phishing attacks or social engineering attacks so categories of cyber crime what are they they are two either the 
computer is used for creating the attack as a weapon or the computer is the target from where people hack take your personal information and create a chaos so various kinds of categories are there but you need to understand in this 300 seconds that it can be against persons means you and me it can be against the property that is our own data and organization data and against a government like a cyber war or a cyber terrorism so we need to be careful about it and we already know some of them most of them so the ch chances are that hacking malware phishing root kits spam spyware trojans viruses we have seen all of them from time to time these cyber crimes are standard there are variants hacking everybody knows phishing everybody knows squatting is known to most phishing is making you believe that it is from the original person but actually it is not you are being phished tamne bharava ma avi raya che ane phasava ma avi raya che if you do the very same thing with a voice as you see in the banking frauds when you get a call and ask for a credit card information so phishing with voice is wishing so you know that now only talking about cyber security or using a computer or a laptop or a desktop is not the issue cell phone is more than laptop everybody in the current times have cell phone therefore cell security is very important it can be based on the apps that you have and therefore it can be a malware spyware privacy problems vulnerability etc but it can also be web based because through the cell you go to the web so there can be again same things which we talked about and drive by downloads where you are trying to visit a website and everything else is getting into the web and through that through your wifi network into your cell phone and you are cheated so malware and other actions can be performed network is through either wifi or bluetooth right so both these types of networks can host different classes of threats so network exploits suppose your wi wifi router is not secure then when the data goes from the cell phone to na router the data is stolen and it is used same way it is used when you put your car on or off through a wifi that means a bluetooth uh, key so always in the public places try to lock your car with the key wifi sniffing intercepts data as it is traveling through the air between the device and the wifi access point physical threats are very important because computers are not easy to steal but mobile de devices are they are small can be put in a pocket it is valuable they cost as much as a laptop a physical security therefore is very important lost or stolen devices the most prevalent valuable not only hardware itself but it can be resold on the black market and it has whether computer has or not but the mobile has your sensitive personal financial and bank details and maybe even organization and password details therefore to remain safe from cyber crime what is important is abcd abcd is antivirus should be latest current updated browser exploits should be avoided check the security settings delete dubious links disable remote access do it only for the 10 or 15 minutes that you need to or for somebody to do your job and educate yourself doctor friends you know that we are educated but there are children in jamtara where there are three schools which teach how to hack and how to earn 50000 plus every day in some cases and there have been too many and there is a serial on it so have a good firewall and have general knowledge about cyber crime and cyber threats cyber crime steps are everything is illegal so there is an illegal access to your system interception there is interference there is system data or data interference there is a device damage vandalism and there are frauds and to avoid that the five five or six tips that you need to know are the cyber safety tips and they are the precaution prevention protection 
preservation, perseverance, and password protection. And a whole lecture can be there on any one of them. So in these 300 seconds, Gagarma Sagar Bharvanu J invitation Nagar Tarafti Avutu A Badahu Ap Savno Abharishu. All the best to the Hitcon Rajkot and thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you, good sir, for such an informative talk. Now, moving ahead, our next talk is by our own Mr. Madhav Jasapara. For IMA Rajkot family, Madhavai needs no introduction. But to complete the formalities, I would start with Madhavai as a digital entrepreneur, having more than of 12 years experience in online and digital marketing. He is the founder of Gujarati TV, Bharat City Guide, Organic Mall, and Residential Cricket School. His achievements include I youth, uh, World Icon Award, President Award, Young Entrepreneur Award by Rajkot Municipal Corporation, Sargam Ratna Award, and many more. So over to Madhavai for his talk on exponential growth with Google My Business. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm audible for all of you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks very much to Hitcon and Indian Medical Association Rajkot. I'm Madhav uh, presenting today uh, exponential growth in our day-to-day -day businesses. Just loading my file. One sec. Yes, so uh, our main motto in current scenario, it's growth. Current pandemic time, we are facing so many problems. Uh, during this time, we can, if we shift something and we get the good results, we need to change it. Yeah. So, uh, till today, Google is the undisputed king as for online search market with the 92.18 percent if you check all the social media platform like facebook twitter instagram linkedin whatever they all are in one side and google itself one side why because 3.5 billion searches per day google processes and most important search is like 5 billion searches for restaurant, 3 billion searches for hotel, 1 billion searches for cloth marketing. And happy for us is 750 million searches for doctors and hospitals, 600 million searches for beauty saloon and 5 million searches for coffee shop. So Google is the ultimate king and our presence in Google is very much important. Few interesting facts about Google, like 84% of US or the general public uh, use Google three times in a day or more than that. And people are uh, once visited the Google, they always prefer to uh, perform and see the result and execute the task on the first page only. People not bother to go to the third page or fourth page or second page, they always use first page. Number of mobile user like 63%. Uh, this is an US figure. It's a uh, 63% US uh, people are searching on Google. It's an organic traffic. And same way in India, 46% uh, of the product searches being on Google. So whatever happening, whatever the search is, whatever the niche is, uh, everyone is searching on Google first. So whether in a rural area or a small town or a big city, everyone, every business, everyone need a business or a customer. I am agreed or I think everyone is agreed with it. So what we can do, last night I just type uh, hospital uh, on Google search. I will see the three page review or the three page result on the front page of Google. First. Uh, it shows the government of uh, India COVID uh, information. Then the three pack box, uh, it's where the three hospital is uh, listing. Then the information about news and the organic listing. And in bottom, there are related searches. What I'm trying to showing here, it's the, the Google is 
always listing three map uh, information. Like same way, if I see in the desktop as well as the mobile, in both the platform, Google first shows three pack listing of map. So today we are talking about the Google My Business and you are listing yourself with the Google My Business and how you can be more uh, get more and more customer organically without paying anything. So rank on Google Map Pack 3. So in this uh, screen, you can see the first always three listing, local three fake. So local means what? Uh, basically, we are situated in a certain area uh, around certain boundary. It's uh, uh, the city. It shows the local area wise listing, then the general organic listing. Yeah. So once you set up the Google My Business, you are eligible to uh, listing yourself in two platforms like Google My Business as well as on Google Maps. So uh, we are uh, very much uh, happy to help you in any uh, level of time you need any help. Uh, next is currently based on our research around 70% of local businesses are unclaimed. 70%. Can you imagine uh, if you check your even listing, uh, maybe your listing is not listed on Google. So after 2020, Google may remove uh, unlisted listing from Google. So, and if you are not registered, uh, it's a good time to be registered. So what is it like how you can justify the claim and unclaimed businesses, how we can uh, go and register ourselves on Google? It's like uh, if you check the claim businesses, you can see the results in the bottom. It shows the suggest edit, left hand side, and the right hand side, it shows own your business. So once it says suggest edit means claimed, and own the businesses means unclaimed. So first of all, you check yourself uh, on Google, and you will see the if your listing is not there, or it's available for claim. We can see the process of it. So Google is now focusing uh, this is an again the same thing. The Mr. Prime Minister said like vocal for local. Google is doing the same, where Google is supporting local business more and more across the globe. So if we are in based in Rajkot specific area like uh, and say for example Kala Road, so Google is supporting uh, at the Kala Road area only. So the local for local, it's uh, based for Google also, and it's supporting in a great way. What you can get it in Google, uh, you can do a digital listing on both the platform like Google and Google Map. You can upload your product or services. You can design your mini website, photos and videos you can upload, day-to-day -day posting, appointment booking, for food industry, not uh, with us, but in food, if you, someone in food industry, they will get upload, uh, they get chance to upload their menus also. And you can uh, manage all your reviews. Plus, Google offer the inside information about how your search, how your map works, how many call, uh, people call you uh, on uh, your uh, hospital or your reception. How many visitors uh, visit your website? How many visitors visiting from which location they are uh, coming from? So all this type of insight information you are getting. So we can start the basic introduction and uh, how to list yourself uh, on Google My Business. It's a very simple four-step formula 
uh, already sir display uh, said the senator said all the things in uh, previous session uh, first of all look uh, log into your google account and go to google.com slash business so you will get an google my business setup once you put your hospital name or the doctor name or the basic name which you want to uh, register on google you just type in it and then you put all the information about your hospital and all this thing after completing all the information uh, google will show you the options to get authorization like whatever you upload is for google it's not sure that the, you are the genuine person or not so they will send you the postcard or they can uh, check the business is uh, verify yourself it's through postcard through phone through email or through verification or the bulk verification but the postcard is the best option so you can get a postcard from google office usa uh, in around 12 days with the code so verification code so your registration is verified by your own self so no one can play around it and you can get the exact result out of it next uh, after getting uh, authorization or the verify you can always optimize your google listing uh, texts are plenty so i can just uh, say down the thing uh, you can put all the information about you you or your hospital your addresses your time your mobile number uh, when it started uh, who are the nearby locations everything everything you can put it here uh, google my business uh, last editing uh, session is as the screen you can see uh, you get all the information on the one simple menu one is dashboard is uh, giving you all the information once you click on info you can edit the information you can once click on photo you can update the photographs you if you want to create a website you just click on it and google create the free website we have uh, you and all the with your all the information google uh, give the options to upload a photograph where uh, people are judging you uh, by seeing the photos like 35% of the people click on the website and 42% request to driving direction when the google i seeing your photographs and the information here are the basic tip uh, photograph should be 720 pixel by 720 pixel if you need any query i will help you out in this or i can we can have a update on it uh, which type of photograph you can upload like uh, you can co upload cover photograph means cover instead of the uh, building view or the hospital view profile photo like if you want to promoting yourself as an, a doctor then you upload your profile photo your interior and exterior photographs how your building look how what are the facility you are offering what are the things you are going to give them to show them and employees at work product photography common area this is the key element uh, common area if you are showing so people will uh, see your infrastructure see your uh, uh, services so once you're showing the all this thing like uh, your uh, rooms and the team and etc you will get the, all the benefits so this is just in a basic setup uh, you don't require any high five skill and same with the video you can upload uh, your infrastructure video your uh, uh, building video or the street video or the patient video all video is a certain uh, requirement is there it's like a 30 second or shorter videos 100 mb or smaller and 720p resolution required that can be easily done with the mobile uh one of the best part uh, everyone uh, and every doctor love to uh, use it is the manage the review here you can review uh, managing the review with the good or bad you can always answer with the good thing people will uh, see the reviews and judging your uh, judging them with their uh, perspective so every review must be replied in a positive way in a proper manner 
with the local language or it's in uh, hindi it's a uh, good why because uh, we don't know like which type of uh, visitor are visiting or searching people so local language reply it's very much helpful nowadays because everything is now going local in online platform google my business uh, once you set up all the thing uh, it will support google app uh, it's a google my business app it's available on both the platforms you can download from ios or android three things you cannot do with the app it's you cannot delete the business listing you can cannot uh, you cannot change its settings and uh, give ownership to other uh, users apart from all the features you can use it through application also you don't require pc for that next uh, it's time to change become a hero and don't take stress don't spend money after the seo and all it's very simple very easy and very good for each and every uh, doctor or the team member to do and design the self and get the more customers uh last but last not best least uh, this is my book grow your business with google my business it's an a gift from me to all the doctors who spare time to see my this thing and uh, it's a very good book it's a step by step guide where you can get all the answers uh, it's available on kindle also at the 499 rate but it's free to all the doctors and thank you very much uh, again for giving me chance to give my presentation thank you thank you madhav bhai uh, we have one question from audience yes sir uh, there are many agencies these days who charge for adding reviews on your profile does that really work uh, never 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 take any paid reviews because paid reviews uh, today google will not focusing but after for sure uh, one month or one year they will focusing on it and once uh, your profile found it's an a paid reviews or the fake reviews or the mal practicing google will straight away shut down your profile and whatever the efforts you put on it it will scrap in a minute so it's not suggested thank you madhav bhai hope it has answered the to the best way and uh, we again we are uh, also thankful to you for such a informative talk and uh, we are also thankful for your service in iim rajkot with whole hearted dedication thank you very much sir now yes. i yes krupal uh, now i request dr mohit sir thank you krupal thank you uh, madhav for the kind gesture of providing the book free to all the viewers thank you thank you thank you really thank you very much thank you sir Uh, now I request Dr. Maulik sir to have a video on Swasthya Setu. What is Swasthya Setu? It is right information from right doctors. Our aim is to establish a setu between society and doctors so that the right, authentic and trustworthy information reaches society regarding various diseases, health issues, health empowerment tools, etc. Who could be a part of Swasthya Setu? Everyone in society. benefits of connecting as an individual access health videos personalized organized health records easy sharing as per need connect with your doctor get health tips book appointments and more what doctors can do organize your practice monitor patients remotely empower patients with education and more
Thank you, sir. I am sure I am a Rajkot is enjoying this offbeat academic piece fully. Hmm. Yes, very very good comments keep flowing on live. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, please go ahead. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, a gentle reminder for filling the feedback from also. Yes. Uh, moving ahead, our next eminent speaker is Dr. Shamir Shah, sir. Sir is a renowned pediatrician at uh, Samir Hospital and Narhari Hospital, but Vadodara. Sir is keenly interested in computer and medical informatics, academic and research work, and in the field of prevention of child abuse and neglect. Uh, sir has a special interest in adolescent medicine and vaccinology. Sir is holding many key posts in Indian Academic of Pediatrics like uh, Secretary Computer and Medical Informatics, Executive Board Member in Central IAP, Convener in the Website Committee of Central IAP, Chief Editor of ICA MCL IAP in 2020, Executive Board Member in Academy of Pediatrics Gujarat 2019, Past President of Academy of Pediatrics Baroda, also in sports uh, work as a sports secretary, I am a Baroda in 2019-20. So over to Samir sir for the topic gadgets that will change your practice. Over to you sir. Uh, thank you Krupal Bhai uh, for your nice explanation about the me. Uh, so uh, before starting my presentation about the gadgets, uh, should disclaim now for the my topic. It's a thing that is I am not a technology expert. This presentation is a combination of my experience and research. This is uh, only and only for sharing the knowledge. No commercial aspect not supporting any particular brand and I will be happy if more addition in the points from the expert if I forgot. So let's start learning together. So what is today I will going to talk. Uh, this is the era of the digital technology. On internet we already shifted from the digital platform of 1.0 to 2.0. For the network is now reality and very shortly it will turn to 5G. Medical profession is also advancing digital technology. It's vital that doctors stay up to date on new trends. Many of the latest gadgets not only provide great value, but are also fun. And due to Corona pandemic, every one of us is now aware of the uh, power of telemedicine and importance of digital technology. What will I not discuss today? As digital advances are so far, that we update ourselves with effort. There will be many more changes and updates knock the door. Advance in the medical practice itself and a vast subject. So it is impractical to discuss within a short period of 20 to 25 minutes time. In my presentation, I, I am not going to discuss branch specific hi-fi equipment like advances in radiology, laparoscopy, ophthalmic and orthopedic instrument robotic medicine, etc., which are not must to run a general hospital or clinic. So what I will discuss, I am going to discuss about the gadgets, instrument, which will really help us in our day to day practice, which will be aid on in our clinical knowledge and will have aid on value and facility provided by our hospital or clinic. Of course, whether they fit to our pocket also both in size and price will always be questionable. So what the gadget that will change our routine practice? We can divide them into the administrative gadgets to improve our services, advanced medical gadgets used in hospital, wearing devices for the patients monitoring remotely. Administrative gadgets, let's take first. This is the first gadget what I personally feel is a must for nowadays and even if you're not uh, buying uh, the, uh, this gadget but you just keep this thing, you are under CC surveillance. This photograph is enough to improve your uh, security purpose also and its services purpose also. So a CCTV camera is really a closed circuit television camera that will help our practices nowadays and it is a work to protect our hospital employee and patient from the security breaches and provide valuable 
visual evidence that can be used to increase productivity and prevent dishonest claim and also help as a legal evidence also in hospital and health uh, care facility video surveillance is an effective tool not only to increase the security but also the controlling the cost i am not going to detail in how we have, uh, which type of the uh, cameras is available it will be also video or digital still in the form of the color vision or black and white vision with audio recording also or without audio recording also but we i will definitely discuss what are the benefits you will get if you uh, 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 keep this cctv camera, uh, camera even you have a health simple small clinic it improves the workers productivity as they are no they are under the supervision of ours they will definitely improve the, their our uh, their work performance this is definitely preventing this honest claim that sometime made by the our patient themselves by as they will uh, say something is injured uh, them but we can directly show them the about the video and they are definitely threatened when we are seeing it, uh, just putting this uh, uh, post up on uh, every places uh, so it will help a lot reserve employee dispute as sometime should a uh, employee may in a uh, coral inside uh, uh, either or side and that may be uh, definitely uh, if they be having a record we can show them what the real thing has happened and we can conclude them same thing continuous real time monitor is really helpful as we so not every time remaining in our clinic or our hospital but we can remotely maintain this video at any time and visual image is always helpful for any of investigations if happen as a medical legal thing the administrative gadgets uh, also i second it is that what important thing is a biometric attendance machine uh, i know now google gives everything including the biometric attendance machine but the individualized choice will be always there the main reason behind the initiating this system is to eliminate the time theft and increase the security and accuracy and that will definitely help to our uh, improve the uh, time per, uh, constraint from the uh, our uh, own staff and that will be definitely eliminate the body time punching that will be previously remaining present when having a card punching because any can take the card with them uh, to give the card to other and other person can punch this thing but nobody can punch and give their finger for punching or face for punching if they are not remain present practically there will be no repetitive consumer cost as we have not required the repetitive punching card and that will be the real time direct costing so there will be no cost on that consumable thing then trust for the data and accurate payroll record is very very important thing as it will be the totally automatically managed it will give the even seconds of the time of uh, uh, accuracy and security and that's uh, why it will be also improve the employees accountability to their remain punctuality on time and they can go as uh, after the uh, their time completes and that's why they increase the it increase the productivity of the our staff also one more important uh, administrative data gadget that i will be, uh, uh, keep in uh, my uh, list that is the pos machine point of sale machine uh, again the if it mobile we having a now many map, uh, uh, apps are available that will be replacing this uh, type of the pos machine but security will be always better with this uh, pos machine and now handhold mosambi machine is also available for this use how it helps so it will be lead to this less cash handling as nowadays in the covid we will definitely not like to uh, take the money in cash that would be really help with this type of the pos machine again very fast service as many times uh, uh, we uh, many people does not have carry the cash that requires at the time of the uh, service that one uh, they want uh, other than the consulting and some uh, when they having this type of the machine available with us they can easily take and i am sure many time as a pediatrician uh, we will get this advantage because patient coming for the regular follow up we advise for the vaccination and they will definitely uh, uh like for going for vaccination but 
they are having a difficulty to give the money and that time this type of the machine help a lot so again simplifying the accounting and increase efficiencies again a very important thing there is no need to uh, keep a, uh, a cash book record or anything that will be totally come uh, as a, a proper methodological manner and we can take at any time uh, where, as we require and that will improve the real accuracy there will be no man made uh, problem occurs in this thing and it is very easy to use extended payment capability of the uh, what i had already discussed and detail receipt can be generated through it so it will be easier for the uh, patients also to take the uh, receipt uh, as when they require the re for the reimbursement now this is the need of the era and that is the smartphone and if i will not include in the administrative gadget it will be the great mistake from my as the smartphone is really making us as a smart doctor and we should not at all neglect how smartphone will be helpful so it will be always the smart choice and because there will never we will satisfy if we purchase the mobile and once we purchase a best mobile what we think and within a few days new good mobile came in the market so we have to fix the budget we have to define the use and frequency of changing the device also we have to describe as a doctor what will be the our requirement it include the good speed that in from the ram and processor good storage having a from the rom and expandable memory good uh, long battery life screen size and better resolution in any light good camera front and uh, uh, camera and rear camera resolution dual sim as we require the private our uh, uh, not want to give the business uh, uh, sim for our uh, sim for the our business purpose and good speaker, uh, speaker and audio accessibility most of the companies show this type of detail in their uh, 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 advertisement and average cost is usually ranging from the fifteen thousand to thirty thousand, and this is a uh, one of the least what I just prepared from that thing. But uh, we know we are now not using so much. Uh, interestingly, the China, so we having a very few uh, option that will uh, really require for the our day to day usage for as a doctor, but. you always should check check not only that is available online but you also check that thing what is the sar level means radiation that will be uh, produced from our mobile safety of your data security remote access and deactivation if required able to connect easily in our otherwise other devices that is very important when we are using the other devices for our day to day practice availability of the accessory at reasonable price strength of device when it falls down water and scratch proof device should be there after sales services and resale value is important tools that we have to checking when we are purchasing any mobile and if we miss computer printer and scanner in our uh, office know, know, nowadays it will be not practical thing you how to uh keep this thing which handy and you could use in day to day practice as the many medical legal thing and many uh, uh, many claim purpose also you require the systemic recording of your uh, data and that is will be easily managed with the practice management software which will be the available and we have to keep all the data in the electronic record management system it will be really helpful us to digitalize our prescription as we know all know how our handwriting works appointment scheduling is always helpful queue management in opd is also really well managed with this type of the or practice management software maintaining inventory and reminder for the vaccination accounting software and tele consultation software is very well used nowadays because of our lockdown if we want to go in detail there is the i will definitely say you can use either web based platform and these are the list of the uh, software that you can use as any of your choice 
I am not uh, promoting anyone because all having their own advantage and disadvantage. And if we want to discuss this, it is a, a whole topic in our, uh, itself. We also having a digitalized health record with pen and paper. This is easier for writing your uh, prescription and it will be totally gone into the digitalized format and that will help us to improve our quality of uh, prescription. There are also EMR software with a speech recognition. Here there is no need to write anything. You have to just uh, uh, speak as per the your protocol base and you can definitely generate your prescription. I hope my till now presentation not yawning you and I definitely it give the more interest to you. So let's go with the medical gadgets. What the, uh, the helpful in our day to day practice and most important is definitely thermometer. We, uh, when and when we require the thermometer, the history is so long. We were starting with the mercury thermometer and the uh, uh, digital thermometer then the ear auditory thermometer and nowadays this must for the uh, our uh, practice that is the uh, 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 thermometer with the infrared thermometer which will measure the temperature from the distance to have the safe distancing and it is now each and every one of, uh, of the uh, uh, world is knowing that it is a must for the uh, measurement of temperature. When we are measuring the temperature as a thermometer, we should also not neglect this type of the sensor thermometer, which is really helpful for our uh, refrigerator record, uh, recording. When we are keeping the medicine or vaccine, that will be the available uh, with a specific temperature we have to keep as around, and that will help from outside. We can regularly check that is the temperature is really maintained. And uh, this is a instrument and we can say it's a, uh, a privilege that as every doctor is wearing and that is the stethoscope. It having a starting with this type of this small instrument to the our regular instrument and now the, it will be considered as a digital stethoscope that allows us a lot to transfer our uh, hearing anywhere. It will be helpful to the recording and it will be also helpful for ourselves when many muffled sounds are there that is not practically possible to us. But definitely it will be the really costlier affair. But nowadays now our Indian uh, uh, maker also made this uh, thing is a lesser uh, expensive when costing of around 20,000. One more uh, medical gadget that really we require and that is the glucometer. And this glucometer will be the must for the each and every clinic nowadays because it helps us to keep a person alive just only with a prick and we can uh, monitor his glucose level and we can treat either hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia. And as I this, uh, described, the smartphone is smarter and smarter and these devices are also now coming in at present definitely not available in India. But this type of the diro blood glucose monitoring system, just you attach with your mobile, then you can keep uh, uh, your mobile will be work as a glucometer. And this is the uh, thing which will be really helpful in daily uh, uh, practice for any uh, physician or clinician. That is the weighing scale. Previously, it was definitely just available as a dial uh, scaling with a digitalization. But uh, then we having a proper uh, equi uh, equilibrium uh, digital uh, scale was there. And now this type of the sophisticated digital scale is available. Here we can uh, measure the uh, weight of from the new world to the up to the uh, uh, any uh, kg weight, what we want. Nowadays, there uh, one more advance that is also available, but it no, may not be so much useful for our day to day testing. That is the all the uh, 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 measurement uh, will be the on uh, that also including body mass, uh, fat mass, each and every uh, requirement or uh, measurement of the our body will be with uh, measure we can uh, and we can keep ourselves fit and fine. Pulse oximeter is really now a heart of our uh, uh, hospital as uh, this is the one of the best indicator what we are seeing nowadays to uh, consider 
whether patient having a, a happy hypoxia or not. And if we don't uh, keep this with our, our in our clinic, we can miss many pro uh, problematic patients nowadays. And this should we have to keep any kind of thing, either of the fingertip or of a handheld uh, pulse oximeter or a tabletop monitor. But definitely, the higher the cost, better the accuracy, and you have to uh, accept what is the best uh, gadget that you want to use as per your budget. But I will definitely prefer the only uh, pulse oximeter rather than the NIV. Uh, I will definitely prefer NIVP over the pulse oximeter if you are having a, your own hospital because it not only measures the pulse, pulse and uh, uh, SpO2, but it also measures the uh, uh, heart, heart rate, ECG, and other things will be the available with only a one gadget. And it really, uh, 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 I will say, it's a uh, useful investment for our hospital if we uh, have a purchase a good quality multi-para monitor, uh, monitor. Uh, just uh, emoji, I just keep this thing, is not for the patient's uh, fear. It's a fear of the doctor. When is one, any chubby or uh, very fatty people come and we have to insert the vein flow. And vein panel is a very good solution for this. And very good uh, uh, instrument that will be the help us a lot to find a very difficult vein, either for the insertion of the vein flow or taking the sample uh, for the blood. And if we purchase this, it's not so costly also. And I think we have to keep it with our, our hospital. And it is very important. It's a very uh, small device and battery operated device. So we can take it at any time, anywhere, in any ICU round also. If required, we can use it and utilize its uh, specification. Just complete uh, for the completion of the list. I had also uh, put uh, the portable USG, uh, USG machine and ECG. It may not be required for the, uh, our hospital at all time, but if you having a this thing, uh, it will be really luxury for you to diagnosing many uh, things in emergency. Practically, it's not uh, available uh, at presently so easily in India. But you can purchase uh, from online also this type of the portable USG and ECG machine. But I will say if USG fit in our day-to-day -day clinical practice in OPD also, you can diagnose many things at just simply with mastering in USG by yourself. So after all the uh, thing, uh, few uh, wearing devices, or that will be the, if you offer to the our of a uh, patient that will be really helpful for them and that will also helpful for us to monitoring their patient our patient remotely on our device as and when some uh, problem is occur and they are the also helpful to the patient to give an alarm to the us or the nearby uh, relative uh, when they are really in trouble and that would be very easily operated and very long uh, uh, battery life also. So it will be really helpful in the emergency. Same thing, fitness watch is really helpful for our patients also and for us also to keep us uh, what really we are doing to keeping ourselves fit and fine. Same thing nowadays, sweet meter uh, uh, are also available to monitor the blood glucose just from the our uh, surface throughout the sweat. And that sweat meter will really help to diagnose uh, without any pricking to the uh, monitor the blood glucose level. Oximeter already we had discussed. One important device at presently not so easily available in India, that is the adult tech wireless pill bottle. It will be really helpful for our old age people where they are sometimes miss that field of a timing and that will directly indicate if they miss any time the taking the medicine directly indicated to the doctor or nurse who having access to this and they will phone them and they can advise them to take without any hurdle. So thanks for hearing my short presentation. Many more things I can say on this thing, but it's really uh, uh, just a, a beginning, we should keep and start using this type of devices really help a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. I personally thank uh, the uh, 
हिट आप हिट कौन पीपल मेनली थी और आप आप हिट कौन डॉक्टर डॉक्टर प्रगनेश भाई एंड वाज हिज टीम एंड डेफिनेटली आई एम ए राजकोट अलाउिंग मी टू गिव माय शॉर्ट प्रेजेंटेशन and definitely i miss the hospitality of the saurast hospitality of the rajkot because i am giving online presentation thank you <laughs> that's true we, we all are we all are missing that the ghatri <laughs> samir bhai samir bhai thank you so one Excuse question is there for audience yeah yeah yes sir yes sir uh, sir any yes, software please, you please, you please you, you please go first हेलो यस यस समीर भाई जस्ट वन क्वेश्चन नॉट वन बट वन और टू और थ्री कैन यू ब्रीफली एलोबोरेट ऑन द सोनिक बेस्ट प्रिस्क्रिप्शन और द डिजिटल प्रिस्क्रिप्शन क्रिएटेड विद डिजिटल पैन एंड पेपर बेसिकली देर इज वेरी इजीली अवेलेबल थिंग वी रिक्वायर ओनली टैबलेट विथ डिजिटल पैन एंड दैट विल बी दॉट यूजली थिंग अवर वॉट आई ऑलरेडी टोल अवर Uh, handwriting is really excellent as a doctor and it will be when it will turn totally digitally it will help and improve it's a uh, simply uh, uh, software is available which tablet you just uh, keep it uh, with a uh, uh, synchronized with your print uh, printer and like any uh, 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 software what we are using the uh, uh, as a uh, uh, online software or the uh, uh, hybrid software that will be give the precision same way with on our precision just with a printer and our digital pen so which will be the best software to use if you if you can suggest i personally feel there is nothing like best you just <laughs> use explore and then use yourself basically i just explore many a thing as basically have a computer and medical informatics chapter secretary and we are now recommending this of many software and i use practically many software personally also and I, what i found many person has their own requirement and each person has their different requirement their okay. choice will be always differ so i once i will recommend it that will not really help put for you also but i can give you the list definitely i already given that list you can choose out or you can google it you can get the details definitely but i will definitely say everyone give the one month demo before you can purchase and in that one month demo you will definitely get the what is the real advantage really fruitful but i personally feel you should go for now digitalization there is no option for that only handwriting precision will not help you in now coming days of the medical legal purpose so in that case we will have to compulsorily use the bluetooth printer or the simple printer will also do no 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 it's a simple your precision only okay you can utilize on any uh, printer of uh, your precision only you are just insert there is no specific uh, extra cost will be there for the printing okay and this is just uh, only uh, just uh, uh, what simply uh, when now you are uh, talking on the google and google is typing the yourself right same thing is happening with that nothing other than that okay and so what's your take on the digital stethoscope digital stethoscope i personally feel uh, as a pediatrician really i feel it should be really helpful but again it will be the, it should be the having a very handsome cost uh, what i say told that is uh, one uh, cost will be around 55000 if we take ideal thing but now indian medap is also available that is costing around 20000 18000 to 20000 So you can use, uh, use that thing, and this is a really great investment. And I think it's a pride and proud for our as a doctor having a good test stethoscope. But nothing harm to purchase that. So our last question, sir. Uh, you said about the portable USG, the uh, portable USG as well as portable ECG machine. So I have got this machine. If you can see from here, hmm. it's a, it's available yes. online. So what's your take? Have you used this? And uh, I'm not sure whether it is accurate or so. and whether it shows the prior, proper results or not first important thing uh, this they, they USG machine is that they claim that they as as for the spo2 and the pulse oximetry plus uh, the ecg machine portable they have the uh, so, uh, this uh, i personally feel uh, this is uh, uh, jai bhai uh, this yes. usg machine is really not for the accurate diagnosis this is for the emergency diagnosis and many yes. emergency diagnosis thing that is practically not possible possible to clinically be have the suspicion if just you put at a probe and on opening bay you just see that thing 
something like appendicitis or something you can definitely get well, but this is definitely require the clinic as for the our clinical expertise usg expertise is definitely needed but this is definitely not for the accuracy it is for the emergency purpose okay and uh, there is one more issue with that uh, is there any pcp entity issue with the portable usg uh, i think as uh, at present it is there and definitely it's not so practically used usually okay yes krupal please yes thank you sir uh, sir one question was rather it has been answered but just as a, a good software as far as data security is concerned in all, your opinion i again say data security now uh, everyone is given but as for the uh, computer and medical informatics chapter we are at present recommended the exon software this is a local a uh, 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 gujarat based software only and there is a good team also good backup also they are giving me good services also super as we think and that's why you can uh, go for that thing at present i can recommend it as per the computer and medical informatics chapter of the iap and i uh, uh, central iap also Thanks a lot, sir, for your wonderful talk. And after learning from your talk, we would definitely be adding more gadgets in our practice as well as personal life. I think Kushal will uh, definitely give some uh, input about it by presentation. Yes, Pragnesh, sir. No, yes. Let Let Kushal Let Kushal comment first. Kushal was wonderful. In fact, uh, there are many things which are actually very, you know, handy. but still we are probably not looking at it at the uh, from the view where you are seeing so your content was very good and uh, there are many things to learn from your uh, presentation sir thank you yeah uh, thank you kashyap yeah, we are getting lot of queries about how to get that book the that, that is the gift for this ima uh, uh, hitcon rajkot git uh, hitcon delegates so i request all of you that the feedback form is being widely circulated in the live comments on the facebook as well as on the youtube kindly fill up that feedback form and we'll send that book across to you via email group uh, will be able to continue thank you sir so moving ahead for our next quickie our next quickie is by dr chinmay shah sir so uh, needs no introduction as far as uh, who is working with the any teaching institute in gujarat sir is working as an associate professor at government medical college bhavnagar and rather i would say that it would be tough to find any event in which gmc uh, sir is not involved so over to chinmay sir for starting the quick is on how to do facebook live over to chinmay sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, okay, okay. So, what I request is allow me to share the screen. So, I will directly give the demo rather than going through the step. Uh, sir, I request to allow me to share my screen. So, I will give the live demo. Okay, sir. Okay, can you see my screen now? Okay, now. Okay, I think now you will be able to see. Okay, just a second. Okay, now I think yes. Yes. Okay. So this is my mobile, and how to do uh, Facebook Live instantly using a mobile. Uh, you can see my screen of Facebook, and here there is a button uh, Live. So I am clicking. You can see just on the left upper side Live button. So I am clicking on that Live button, and now you can see there are multiple pop up things available here. so before we directly press on the start live video button uh, here are some setting which you uh, would like to do right now my camera is on the opposite side okay uh, and if i will click on the upper side it will turn that camera on my side so now whatever i am speaking uh, you can see me also now uh, if you want to do live video with your friend 
below is option you can see in my screen on the down side be uh, below start live video i can bring my any of the friend along with me and i am telling uh, let me invite uh, krupal so you can just search here and here is krupal with me i can invite him so he also will be there with me in this facebook live then uh, if you want to come uh, do a public live then directly uh, press on the start live video else you can go on left upper side where there are settings for a uh, live facebook here is the public here is the friend here is the friend accept okay and if you are having any page for example i am having i am a bhavnagar then human physiology then positive thoughts so if you want to share on a specific page you can just uh, click that page and then you will be facebook live and lastly just you can add description that this is a excellent opportunity provided by hitcon so you can write all these things thank you very much to uh, dr pragna swajra sanjay and team and finally you can just press on the start live video you are live now within okay so now you can see here i am facebook live and i can get comment also comment will appear here okay so you start your presentation and once it's over you can just click on the finish button and your uh, video live facebook live video will end and it will be there on your facebook page and now also you can share so this is all from my side in 2 minutes thank you very much uh, hitcon thank you kurpal uh, sir a question please be there sir okay uh, sir can we save live video on facebook live yes yes it is already saved and right now you can see my screen there are three option on the down side i can download this video also so there is a download button save button is there can you see that it's there sir on the left side down yes sir it's there sir save yes okay so you can save it you can share it and you can delete it also thank you sir hope it has answered fully and thanks a lot dr chinmay sir and personally speaking it was a privilege for me to be part of your student at gmc bhavnagar and jamnagar thank you krupa uh moving towards the end of the session we have with us dr urman dhruv sir sir is a consultant physician and diabetologist director at department of medicine at mithakali wing of hcg personally sir is a true academician and a music lover and as far as amdavad is concerned sir is a frontline corona warrior heads up to you sir and over to you sir dhruv sir now okay good afternoon hope i am audible yes sir you are audible sir and uh, you can see my projection presentation so we are not yet get yes sir got okay fine so what i'm going to talk in next 20 minutes is social media for doctor most of you know it very well especially within last 3 months so the disclaimer is i am not earning a single coin out of social media so don't blame me that i am uh, professionalizing the social media as the topic of today is social media i'll not going to talk about any app these are all different social medias maybe there will be many more which i might not have included here So let's start this way. How many of you are not on any WhatsApp group? And I know there would not be a single hand that would be raised, whether it is Amitabh Bachchan or whether it is Dr. Pragnesh Vachrajani. They all would be there on some sort of social media. How many delegates received the message about Hitcon two zero two zero on social media? And answer would be yes from everybody, which itself says that we need to thank social media because. uh it is one of the most important major or communication link these days let's start with this gentleman 
he came out crying help two years back because his samsung mobile was not functioning and within two minutes not only samsung but five other different ceos from different mobiles reached him immediately now that was possible for him because he was amitabh bachchan and he is amitabh bachchan but even when i posted on facebook whether anyone knows how to forward android and airtel we got also response within 2 minutes now just understand the situation yesterday at 11:20 pm mr amitabh bachchan is getting hospitalized all channels show that he has been getting hospitalized his covid report is unknown we know that all channels knew it but they were not or they were reluctant to publish it and this gentleman comes out and he himself puts on twitter that i have been tested positive and those who were in my proximity should get himself tested now this is the miracle or this is the power of social media the whole india and probably the half of the world knew it within 10 minutes that amitabh bachchan is covid positive and he is getting admitted and all speculations came to zero within a second as soon as he posted it so we have been praying about all our covid warriors we have been praying about most of the people who have, been, have covid more than lakhs now but a special prayer for mr amitabh bachchan pray for him pray to him let's start with academic update how does it work this is how we used to do it a couple of years back many of us also used to do the same couple of years back and what i am doing i am attending a conference global cardio metabolic meet and i am listening to finland speaker dr zarko not only that i am talking with him as a speaker look at empire trial empire trial was launched in uh, the results came in 2015 and my close friend dr bansi sabu was in europe within the hall where empire trial was the results were getting released and before he put the results on our wednesday group i started posting him to his surprise because the empire trial results were declared 30 minutes on the google on their website before it was published in the classroom of esp so that is what we have started learning that social media do not require a physical presence anywhere from buffet to dinner served on table we were moving from one table to another now the dinner is being served on our table whatever we want to read whatever we want to know whatever we want to hear if you want to hear dr urman drew in hitcon we'll continue with it otherwise we'll stop the video we'll stop the audio and we'll be somewhere else we can do it jolly well minimum cost practically nil and saving the matter for future reference because all these videos are being uh, recorded so that it said shows you get the answers from the best of the teachers as you can see dr madhavi desai is answering to a query now this is something which was not thought of two or three years back 35 years of my practice and i never did this thing we will learning and earning through the social media no textbook i can remember the date 9th april 2020 when one of our physician friend was there in the ambulance outside our hcg hospital he was sent from municipal hospital to get admitted to our hospital nobody was there and looking on to social media i wore my pp kit for the first time believe me it was a horrified situation within 3 months no textbook has ever written anything about covid but we have learnt a lot everything from this social media be it whatsapp be it the facebook or be it the references that we see on google everything is available this is the first disease that we have started learning through the social media and we are now absolutely confident of treating it at end of 3 months but i can remember 3 months back i did not know how to remove my ppe kit after meeting one of my physician friend uh, in the ward and then i had to open the the social media look at it and we removed it because 
we were not prepared the the first question that we received came as a shocking surprise to us no intimation was given but since then our hospital is having one of the best protocol and touchwood one of the best uh, uh, management at uh, present in gujarat i can boast about it look at the facebook or look at the different whatsapp group you got so many groups ecg group on facebook which teaches you ecg eco groups on facebook believe me all these things are there the only thing that you require to do is to go to facebook or any social media and write down what you want to learn and you will do it discussing ecg put any abnormal ecg and there would be thousands of people would give their comments on it and come out with the best solution if you got a query for powerpoint i cannot create a powerpoint i cannot insert this there are people who are going to help you out in your powerpoint presentation also easy approach to experts whether it is dr majobi desai or dr atul patel or dr pragnesh vachrajani or dr pradeep joshi name anybody in gujarat or name anybody in india and you got approach to all of them on different uh, social media like plexus md etc you have got a difficult to diagnose case and you are not reaching you are confused ask the patient to sit out for 5 minutes outside your consulting room and just put a message and there would be people who would come out how to approach to this case what next what next investigation what next treatment whether it is covid or non covid people are there to help you out on all social media and help you out without taking a single coin can't decide what to read so many things on google so many things on different uh, pharma pharma group we have got a wellness tech group which puts and we have got a uh, family physicians group which puts only what you need as i told you from uh, eating on different tables now you are uh, from buffet the dinner comes on your table and as per your requirement so this is something which we never seen for 30 years of our practice and this has made the job so easy different even you can come out with a topic and there would be lots of topic on social media and people would guide you that indian guidelines for antibiotics for use in icu go to this channel if you got a question there are people to answer you if you got a query there are people to answer you not only that there are people to add to it like this there was a question to ask to us about maturation syncope i answered and there were few experts like dr madhav bhai who could add and add diligently and very nicely so you not only get the advantage of one person you get advantage of the best of the people and even the person who is guiding you gets the uh, advice from his teacher which helps him out also if you want to argue you have got multiple people who would continue arguing with you uh, of course with proper knowledge let's talk about our patients how social media is helpful to them well you have got lots of very nice uh, websites like complete diabetes care clinic where they can go and find out what they want advice appointments motivation groups adjusting to the doses information about the reports three months back we were skeptical about answering on whatsapp and or other social media now the government says that you can answer and you can take charges about it and so now it has become an ethical legal practice that is very wonderful groups on fb do you know there are groups on facebook which discusses the problem of cancer survivors which everybody coming out the people who have suffered from it coming out with their experiences practical experiences the problems they have faced creative use of profession protection of practice group at bhopal and there are many in gujarat now also which we know that will protect you against goons if you are in problem there would be five more people who would trust to you not only that now they have started this is something very important the same group start posting the right side of the case immediately when a controversy arises and the unity which was not seen among medicos is now seen very well thanks to the social media health not necessarily by apps but by motivation of our friends can be done 
This is all about medical thing. Now, not only medical thing, our doctors, we also need relaxation. So we have got friends, including both genders, on net. How many of us knew where our college friends are prior to FB and WhatsApp? None. And suddenly you have got reunions and daily exchange of opinions with your buddies. How many of you believe that meeting old buddies on social media is fatigue? There are so many people who believe that this becomes a fatigue. This is not fatigue. This is relaxation. Believe me, you talk with them and you will relax. And you have got an option. You can leave that group anytime. It becomes a headache for you. Family, we were visiting at the most one relative a week. Now we meet our relatives all at a time. Birth, achievement, success, uh, uh, wedding anniversary. Everything can be celebrated and shared in real time and real time. Save time, cousins group, siblings and what not. You know more than what I know. You can share your what about, whereabouts, moods, travel photos at once. And above all, you enjoy the birthdays. You can also get the advice from the elderly and their experiences also. This is the best way to relax and to keep away from the burnout. You can share your interests and hobbies amongst the family and also amongst the people. If there is an artist inside you, you can post and share. You can share short stories, photography, Shankar Jaikishan musical group, want to check movie reviews, there are people to give you the reviews, buddies on your group, yes, our NHL group, everybody would have it, want to play Antakshari, there are people who are ready to do it, how to say a renowned author, well, there are people, all authors are there now on the uh, social media and you can meet them like Jaisha. You are depressed and need positive thoughts, just as Dr. Uh, the previous speaker talked about positive thoughts. You can share those positive thoughts and bring people out of it. Travel, wonderful travel uh, apps and uh, advices, Airbnb, trip advisors, visit a city, and so many things. Our Madrid experience, when we were uh, traveling to Madrid, we just had to wait there for six hours. And while in the train, we posted a question on trip advisor, whether there are lockers on the stations. And we got seven answers, including the wait to the lockers, the amount that they charge, and the time it remains open, and the way to it. Everything was there within five minutes before we actually landed at Madrid. So it's wonderful. No doubt because we all know fundraising things are available on uh, this and that mine experience where the whole uh, school uh, boys were saved. Everything came from the uh, uh, social media only. Weather updates are available on social media. Social media help police in the crime detection also, we all know. Society and social media, whether it is Swachh Bharat Abhiyan or cashless transaction. And for the last three months, we have been posting videos on COVID, Lifestyle Disease Prevention YouTube channel, where we are getting excellent social response. And we feel proud, privileged and satisfied of performing the social duties, asking for masks. Positive impact of social media, we all know ice bucket challenge. So everything is positive as we all know. But there is something which may be negative also. This social media people believe is not for common men or is not for gentlemen. Well, it is not true. I take five minutes and then we'll stop. So there are lots of sports injuries now, like selfie elbow, we all know. Ati Sarvatra Varjayat, Jampan Badu Vadare Paltu Thayatyan Ukshan Thayash, Beware of selfie deaths. Well, this has nothing to do actually with social media. Selfie has nothing to do with it. Even Narendra Modi is taking it. But, well, you have to be cautious of not taking selfie while driving or on a cliff or on a bridge. So, you need to do it. Thanks to social media, our dictionary has just swollen. My wife is a professor of English and she hates the WhatsApp group. Trolling, FOMO, nomophobia, smartphone OCD, what not. Social media troll. Please be aware from it. Don't join it. The moment there is a controversial troll and people have started using abusive, bad words, go away from it. So don't feed the trolls. Same way, fear of missing out. 
This is something which I would like you to remember forever. Don't use this word who rahi gayo, homo. So always be remember remember that you should not feel of missing out anything. Facebook पर सबसे ज़्यादा झूठ बोले जाने वाला word है nice picture. That is how we finish everything. Facebook has seriously spoiled our language. Like ASAP, JSK, LOL, FYI, the minimum that I know. But my wife hates all these things. But there are even expression icons also. Something that we have been seeing for last three months, or something that we have not been seeing for last three months. But thanks to social media, we have started seeing these good icons also. And the third one really keeps us dancing and joying. So everything is not bad. Well, a uh, caution to all my doctor friends: Please do not disclose the identity of the patient either by face or by name. It's a criminal offence. So even if the patient has permitted you, please do not use it on social media. That is really serious. Burn out occurs, but you should be cautious. Why do you need apps? How do I pass my day? How do I avoid burnout? I start my day with Medicos Listeners Club, seven o'clock in the morning, and all our colleagues they get really rejuvenated. Then I go to seriously I do this. I go to Wednesday group and family physician group, read out the best information posted in last twenty four hours by the best of academic app from my best of academic colleagues like Dr. Manoj Vikrani or Dr. Madhav Desai or Dr. Sanjeev Fatak. They all come out with their best on this group. in the evening i go to my buddies to find out what happens socially in 24 hours and at night i talk with my relatives wish them what they are getting chena majani life so you can use social media very creatively and you get such sort of wonderful appreciation also that you remember sawar sawar ma nostalgic pander uh, pandora box kholi kadi ane maja aavi gain you get to share good things with them if you believe that you have feelings of this kind with some musical whatsapp message you are not burnt out biggest joke of the century is computers and mobile were invented to save our time where it does not save time i agree but you have to be cautious of limiting time on social media addiction is everywhere atti sarvatra varjayat maine pehle bhi kaha ane addiction kone nahi saurashtra hase to tamaku nu hase dar south gujarat hase to daru hase माफ करजो संगीत सीनेमा अहमदाबाद में अमरा जो हे तो संगीत ने सीनेमा हे मारा ने मजे भी जेवा के समय ऑब्सेसिव हे नौ वगे एट पहुंची जवाक ने मित्रों ऑब्सेसन हे तो एवरीथिंग इज देर द ओनली वे इज टू चेनलाइज इट एंड गाइड देम प्रोपरली देर आर ऑलवेज टू साइड ऑफ अ कॉइन लिस्ट ऑफ कोविड वोरियर्स फेलिंग वेन एवर वी रीड द लिस्ट होम वी हेव लॉस्ट it seriously creates frustration and fear believe me even the best of covid warrior i am not the best but even the best of covid covid warrior feel afraid the moment he reads the list whom we have lost it is safer to remain away from how he died at least if not who died fake stories like the one i have shown in a brave snake saving a fish from drowning this is what media does so please check before you forward check with authentic source if it is music check with uh, dr anil bhai if it is uh, 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 academics check with dr pragnesh bhai or dr jashwant darbar or dr pradeep joshi if it is uh, 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 for example uh, anything related to the uh, computer or mobile or technology check with dr cs buch so before checking with the authentic person don't forward anything do not forward if you believe that it is not helpful to anybody don't forward figure forward only the facts because statistics is like bikini it can reveal more than what it unreveals honestly i agree that social media is full of hypocrisy show off often misleading tall claims but still it is not bad just as we teach our children how to ride a bike or even a bicycle or as we teach our young kids how to walk we need to teach 
everyone we need to learn ourselves how to navigate through the social media if you can do it we are in the best of hand coming to the last part of my slide there are only two types of people on social media those who lead and those who follow conditions to this be sure before you enter the group is it of your choice if not leave it at the earliest select the strictest of group admin who does not allow anything but talk about the purpose of the group don't try to be first to get the news that is what create obsession never be first to get the obsession uh, to give the news and never be first to share the news if you are not told there, there would be more people who would share the news if nobody looks who first shared the news look at the whatsapp today ask yourself who posted amitabh bachan's news first on the whatsapp nobody remembers it so don't try to be first because that puts you lots of obsession and lots of tension so just share the news but don't be first to get the news and don't be first to share the news switch off the notification of all social media whenever you want to go there you should go there not that it should call you and the best and most important thing is let your better half be on the board whatever uh, groups you are on let your better half be on the board with the better half it is there on the board but you let your better half be on there that will convert social media into the better half because there would be a vigilant eye on you what and when you are there on that group a doctor asks uh, uh, a patient comes and asks doctor i am badly hit by noise pollution well whatsapp or social media is a pollution but that does not mean that this is how you treat it there are ways and means of doing it so ye shama to jali roshni ke liye is shama se kahi aag lag jaye to ye shama kya kare so social media is bad no it is very good you require to use it judiciously to get masti rather than pasti even the cats update themselves we require to update thank you very much thanks a lot thank you dr dhruv sir for such a very interesting session and sparing time for us in this really tough times of ahmedabad i am your rajkot as loud your lucid language very much thank you thanks a lot thanks i am a rajkot and thanks uh, Dr. Pragnesh and his team. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, now I invite Dr. Lukesh Ghodasra, sir, Secretary IMA Rajput 2020-21, for the vote of thanks. Over to Lukesh, sir. Thanks, Krupal. Good afternoon, all. Uh, I think that's one of the best non-medical technological CME for Rajput IMA by Hitcon. Thank you all. Uh, if one cannot update uh, herself uh, in a medical field for a certain level. Uh, they can hide it one but if one can technically poor even layman or illiterate people can mark you in present technological era so this is the need of day and for that i would like to thank all our esteemed tech savvy doctor speakers dr debasi sir dr kasyap sir dr samir sir dr urmin dhru sir our own madhav jasapra as well as vikis dr ch booth sir and dr chinmay sah sir thank you very much all thank you from ima rajkot for a, such a nice and wonderful presentation i would like to thank our moderator dr krupal pujara for a moderating this session very much uh, uh, um, interesting uh, this webinar was not possible for from the effort of our own past president dr chetan lal seta sir and the Uh, Pragnesh Vachrajani sir and Hitcon team. So I would again thank Hitcon team, Dr. Pragnesh Vachrajani, Dr. Darbar sir, Dr. Chetan Lal Seta sir, and our technological support. I would like to thank uh, Rusil Soni sir. Uh, not without audience and our president sir and IMA committee, this webinar is not successful. So I would like to thank all of you. Thank you very much from IMA Rajkot. Have a good Sunday. Thank you all. thank you dr lukesh bhai uh, it was a very nice opportunity as i already told uh, we were uh, quite uh, enthusiastic to come to sobrastra with hitcon and that's what we are here today and we are happy to see the encouraging response that we are getting via various social media posts in live so yeah we are very glad to uh, be here today 
uh, one more request is dr urman sir is already told that uh, be there in the specific group we are running various groups on itcon health tech technology updates so this uh, whatsapp group category d only talks about use of technology in healthcare so if anybody is interested in joining there is an option to fill up in in that uh, feedback form or else you can send and whatsapp to me and we'll be gladly to add you in that itcon whatsapp group and i will request all of you to please feel free to share your feedbacks on the topics the speakers that you like more and more such topics that you would like to uh, include us uh, uh, in future and uh, i would like to thank all the speakers who have spared their valuable time dr ruman dhru sir as we know he is a frontline corona warrior and still he has joined us after finishing his round in the hospital and uh, uh, dr kashyap dr samir bhai uh, dr saini dr butch dr darbar and all other speakers and mr madhav from rajkot so we would uh, we would love to have you in and this is the our first experiment of having such a half day large seminar on uh, hitcon on uh, this uh, uh, digital platform we do keep organizing programs every week on different subjects i hope uh, we'll get more audience from rajkot to join us now and then and at the end i will think uh, to the team uh, iim and rajkot for providing us this excellent opportunity and obviously dr krupal for very nicely moderating the session there are host of questions but with the want of time i think it's not possible to answer them all but we'll definitely love to answer them in the eatcon whatsapp group thank you thank you everyone for joining thank you very much thank you thank you thank you bhai thank, 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 thank you bhai thank you all the speakers for such a wonderful seminar on technology thank you it, it was our pleasure in fact pragnesh bhai